Either okay. Way. <laughs> so last time you all explored the city of Port de Mali, found friends and contacts that put you on the track for possible events to look out for. Side gigs. Side gigs. And researched as much as you could from a library with lots of people now questioning the ideas of necromancy and construct building. There's some of their and differences. Uh, in the end of the night, everybody gathered back in the mermaid's hold. <laughs> Are you sure that's how you want to say it? Yes, I'm sure that's how I want to say it. Don't it's take okay. this from us, man. <laughs> we don't have much. Don't take that from us. You can call it whatever He's you holding want. on to the last thing he's got left. <laughs> Where All right. Some went straight to bed and others stayed up and drank for a while and talked with others. Um, uh -huh. Morning light comes around. Uh, Rainer was exploring the tavern in the early morning from the sound of the <clears throat> chat. I didn't get to answer you over there, but yeah, there's only a few people here. I don't know if Bishop ever went to bed or not, but Silas stayed there all night. Uh, Bishop did go to bed, but he wakes up when just straight. Okay. This guy's Silas? Yep, Silas. He stayed there the whole night, just kind of enjoying the company of the people as they were coming in and leaving throughout the hours. Um the Jarkle, the um, half-orc from the Wave Chaser, came down at some point because she was tired of dealing with Kajori, and Dilyu said it's his turn now. Huh. The inn offered continental breakfast. You did bring that up last time. They have a breakfast. Fruits, <laughs> toast, fish, I mean, beer. Less continental, Meat. more... Peninsula. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, hey, fish and toast? Like I've had worse continental breakfast. Fish toast and fruit? Yeah, that's I've had worse at hotels. Yeah. I'll I'll say uh Jen went to bed very shortly after her last uh, interaction and woke up a bit early and is kind of the groggy eyed still in pajamas, just eating food while, you know, waking up. Mog is sleeping in. Rainer, Rainer, Ra I'm going to say Rainer's a vegetarian. That seems right. Okay. Yeah, he yeah, makes sense. That tracks with Scott Pilgrim War. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's true. <laughs> you're, you're not You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, so, yeah, he's he uh, is munching on some... It looks like leeks over there. Um, maybe leeks? celery. Just raw leeks. Okay. Maybe <laughs> celery. A little better. Yeah. Oh, the stuff on the tray is uh, probably like uh, spring onions or leeks or something. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's just eating that with bread. Maybe a little bit of honey, but. Well, honey's not vegan, but you're being vegetarian, so... Right. No no protein, just no protein. all... Um... <laughs> yeah. So me and those bees made a fair deal. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm all a fan of eating honey because I don't like... They're uh, an invasive species that was not originally from the U.S., so... The honeybee? Yeah, the honeybee's European. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, they did like all Europeans did and killed all the natives. Now we're... Hey, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we were recording. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, cool. It's history. Yeah, that's, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're definitely yeah. not wrong. Yeah. Brad, don't, Brad, facts, don't be facts. scared. All, fa all facts. facts. All facts. We know what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, YouTube. Um... <laughs> That's that's the right attitude for this. Um, that that's all Rainer's doing. I think he was. He, I feel like he's a light sleeper. I don't know if he's got issues with sleeping, but um, 
that's just his kind of style. That's his. That's why he's so fidgety. He drinks a lot of coffee, smokes cigarettes, and eats uh, bread and and vegetables. I guess what is the what is the high fantasy world equivalent of coffee in this case? Tea. Coffee. Tea. Coffee. coffee. Okay, we have we have access to coffee. All right. There is coffee. There is tea. There's magical energy drinks, probably. Uh, Rainer, maybe he steps out and uh, smokes early in the morning, has his first cigarette. Bishop is definitely one of those guys who, inside his, like, fold-up tinker's tools and all that, all, like, the kind of... T- inside all of those, he has, like, a really pretentious, like, press that he can one of those douchebags like brings his own like <laughs> like coffee grinder and stuff because his thing is so much better than the stuff he get get at like other stores yeah he set that up precious okay um i also dropped yeah okay you got it yeah i'm guessing it wasn't letting you move it again right right okay cool I will figure out what Rule 20 keeps doing that at some point. Yeah, if you go into the uh, character thing and then right-click on um, the uh, use use this uh, token for thing, it'll update it so that it's controlled. There we go. Okay, cool. So Rainer goes out and smokes. Guessing Jen couldn't control Jen yeah, for the I same don't reason. Have uh, you can't, as far as I can tell. Yeah, hopefully from now on, when it uh, thing pulls out, it's going to be oh, the proper chair side. right here. I'll just take this one. But uh, so far, no one has. Uh, we were waiting for if anybody came by to tell Rainer about the. Yes. Such an urchin child. Okay. Yeah. So. I guess yeah. I would just and... be waiting. Well, is Rainer back, or is he helping Ellie still? Rainer is outside smoking. Okay, I was making sure Rob was back from being oh. Rob. Yeah, she wants juice, and I was like, "You oh. drank it all." Like, I don't. We know. Um, <laughs> we heard it all. Don't worry about it. We're up to speed. It's... All right. So while you're sitting outside of the uh, the downstairs of the inn, um, you do see a bunch of little um, kids and uh, teens running around. One of them does hit you, like run into you, apologizes, and then runs off. I throw my cigarette at him and check my pockets. I was about to say, you got robbed? Again? You did not get robbed. Okay. But you do have a note um, on a simple piece of paper. Um, slip 57 on docks closer to tumble downs. I go, I go, clever girl, and I pocket it. Uh, after sunset, uh, once guards have passed. Okay, say it one more time. Sorry. Uh, slip 57 on docks closest to tumble downs. Okay, slip uh, 57 tumble downs dock. Got it. Um, after sunset, once guard post has passed. Cool. All right, I'm going to go handle my own demons downstairs real quick. Have fun. Uh, Silas is passed out, sleeping at the table. He's been there all night drinking. My character wiping the sleep from her eyes after, like, having a dose or two of tea will kind of half mutter to a bishop, still clearly waking up, and it's like, all right, so what do we know about Kuatoa? <laughs> uh, we can't hear you, Trey. Good now. I think um, you mean Ukato I think you mean Ukatoa, darling. 
Jin, Jin just passively aggressively points to her uh, not yet empty cup of uh, caffeinated tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll slide over some uh, like some of my coffee and just like yeah uh, well not like uh, the pot that I've and just like yeah yeah so uh, we know we don't actually know that much about him. I think I think the most that we've found out is like that we don't know much about him. It's just here's there is a cult and what we didn't learn a lot last time about him, did we? What did we learn last time? I'm trying, Brian. Brian, I'm trying to, I'm trying. Uh, you know, like I'm trying to figure out what Bishop knows and what I know. Yeah. I'm trying to like. Okay. Separate um, those two. While you're trying to figure that out. Yeah. Um, in through the door uh, walks a uh, a gnomish figure in blue robes mm. and a long beard. Hey. Ah. That's. Hmm. With a book. A beard, and a stone, a familiar stone, Bishop. Your shard. That you lent to the cobalt soul. Oh, this is uh, our uh, researcher friend. And Justin, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you see this like uh, very large hat, wizard hat, walking through the bar. And then you notice that it's attached to a very small man. Very small, no man. Uh, with like blue and red uh, pants, a very big buckle, a coat and everything like that. It's very small. He's got like a big beard like poking out from under his hat and uh, his ears that go like are like perpendicular to his head, pushed down by his hat. He's got a big ass nose. And uh, he looks around the inn for a little bit and then sees Bishop and uh, he like jumps a little bit and he, and he waddles over to you. And uh, he's like, Thur? Thur, I think this belongs to you. What are you doing, Justin? What, what's With happening? Your timber th With your okay. timber th at your service. Uh, fuck, okay. Second. <laughs> Practitioner of the illusory arts. I, wor I work for the Cobalt Soul. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, just clearly his robes. He looks like he's part of the... Okay, blue and... Yeah. And he's holding my... All right. Uh, I assume... Yes. Uh, thank you. I assume that you've gotten this from a researcher. Yes, yes. Tell me all about your uh, your party and your predicament and uh, the stuff you were looking at. It's very interesting stuff, I gotta tell you. So you 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 seem to believe that uh, you could tell what the primordial has uh, been awakened of some sort. Uh, we hadn't actually gotten that far. We really just, all we knew was well, that well, there was I, a... Yeah, see, and that's, and that's why I come in, see? Because I'm just like, I, I like to think and I like to put stuff together. You know, and uh, I, 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 spent, I spent a lot of time here. It's kind of kind of paying attention to that kind of stuff. Oh and, uh, you know, I, I just kind of put it together. Is that how uh, I think, I think that <laughs> I think that this is bad news. And uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to look into it more. Are you a researcher? Oh, of the highest variety. Yes, sir. I am a researcher librarian uh, uh, with honor at the Cobalt Soul. I, I know I don't look like it, but I'm 350 years old, sir, and I know quite a bit. Uh, like I said, with your timber thread at your service. Well, honestly, there's no need for the sirs. I'll put out my hand, but there's no need for the sirs, man. We're just, well, just people here on the same level, same status. I feel like you might be more... Uh, more renowned in this town than I am. No need for the sirs, but good to meet you all perhaps, the same. Perhaps, perhaps I, you know, I stay uh, pretty much stay locked to my books. Um, I'm... hey DM. I think you broke Rob. I rolled a ten yeah. on insight. Does that pass or fail? My hallucinations looking at this tiny man with a huge okay. hat. <clears throat> your 
for a glimpse, you see smoke swirl around him in a bestial form take place, and then it disappears. Yo. Uh, smoke monster. <laughs> smoke monster. This is... Little man. Uh, if, you, if you wish, I, I would not like to. Uh, and he, um, he, he, he puts his staff out, and then like, uh, kind of like whips his hand at it, and the staff, uh, like breaks into like stairs, and he walks up the stairs to the top of the staff. So he's like standing <laughs> like just below your chin, and he uh, sticks his hand out, and he's like, "Whisker Timbuth, at your service, illusionary." He's like, "Illusory extraordinaire," and he he pulls out he pulls out of his hand. The word illusory or illusion, but it's in like, you know, like uh, sparklers. It's like written in sparkle like that. And it's like crackling and smoking and stuff. And it says illusion and it hangs in the air for a second. And then he grabs it by the bot by the middle and he pulls it down and he stuffs it down into his hand like he's filling a cup. And then he goes. Ah. And then he, he holds his hand like she can shake it. I go. Ah, I've been waiting for this person all my life. Uh, <laughs> we all. We all have. Uh, I shake my hand. R- Rainer? Uh, just just Rainer? And... Yes, sir. And perhaps I was waiting for you guys. Uh, I think this works out perfectly. I'd like to talk more about it, though. We are... Uh, w- w- what business have you here? I'm. Well, my business is uh, knowledge, to put it simply. But I work for the Cobalt Soul. Uh, you, well, your friend here, uh, Bishop, and uh, a group has brought some stuff for us to look at. And uh, I thought that we could. And uh, we, we were checking it out. I put two and two together. And I rushed over here since I could to let you guys know that I think you could tell us I woke up. Hey, man. Do you like to party? I, you know, I don't think that I do. <laughs> Not, I, don't, I don't. I like to have a good time. I'm a gnome. I like to tell jokes. I like to, make, I like to pull pranks. But I'm looking at you. And I'm hearing what you're saying. And I'm thinking, no, I don't like the party. We're going to party tonight. <laughs> well, you can, sir, and that's fine. <laughs> Jin, will, oh my God. Jin will wonder um, down the staircase. Jin will she'll say to, uh, let's see, what was the gnome's name? Mr. Timberson? Whisker. Whisker? All right. Jin will turn to Whisker and say, I apologize in advance, but there's something I must be sure of. And I poke him in the cheek. Sir! Or, or ma- madam, what, what is, what's the meaning of this? I, I assure you I am real. I am a, 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 I'm a real a warm bodied individual. Yeah, she Are likes you, touching people. It's. You, you it's said not you're the ma- you're master of a. Uh... Oh, hold up. Jim like immediately drops dead, like, uh, like not drops dead, like dro- stops mid explanation of like, oh, you're an illusion person. I need to make sure that you didn't cast this guy self. Like, cuts herself off mid sentence, looks at Rainer, and it's like, really? I'm abnormal? <laughs> Rainer? I would, I would have to say, not many people do that. They don't like touching people. Well, I- you like touching, I, people aren't supposed to touch people. Laughing, laughing a little bit underneath his breath, he looks over at Bishop. Would look over at Jen. It's like, you, you are, yes, you. We've all kind of assumed that you are the oddball out of the group. Jen just looks. <laughs> Wait, who, who is he? Who did he look kind at? Of quietly slings off. Jen, like Jen, it. it's like, yeah, Jen, you are the odd, <laughs> Jen, you are the oddball out of out of us. Yes, he's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you see. He's, you, you, you all seem like a bunch of fine folks. And, uh, uh, you know, yeah, you all, you all seem like a bunch of fine folks to me. And then, no, I don't like getting my, my cheek touched, though. Oh, well, Whisker, well, right? Whisker, yes, sir. Uh, hey, you should join us. Well, and see, and that's why I come here to talk to you fellas about, because I think that I, I think I should join you fellas. I'm on the search for knowledge at all times. That's my job. You know, I don't get out much. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not technically a monk, but you know, I'm also not super tied down, you know? And I think that I, I need to check some stuff out. I need to see all this stuff. I need to go 
I, I, I need to figure some stuff out. And you guys are just the group of muscle that I'm looking for. I can do all my research with you guys backing me up. Well, well, before we, but Raina, I do, I do like this this little known person, Whiskey. I'm very, I'm very enamored by your whole, your whole deal. But thank uh, you. Let's, How are you, Bishop? But let's, see, uh, I, I. And he and he says that, but he's like, it's a joke because he's like four foot shorter than yeah. you, and he's like going to your foot. <laughs> Fucking love it. <laughs> love it. I love this guy. Uh, oh, you're de- you're a thousand percent joining. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, of course, but uh, first, why don't we, uh, why before we talk about where we're going and start uh, off on an adventure, why don't we first just collaborate on some research? I'll show you, I'll show you what I, the findings that I've over the vehicle fighting this we've destroyed, and you can elaborate us on why you're so enamored with this Ukatoa person. Well, yeah, you know, exactly. And that's what I came here to do is talk about comparing notes and, uh, you know, do our good research. I think we got a little bit ahead of ourselves. But, yeah, I'm not enamored uh, so is that I am um, horrified of the implications that I have found in, in what you we have received from your party. Oh, I am sick. I am the same. I very much love that was well, you, my reason for doing you, research as well on it. So, yes. Correct, yeah, uh, primordial. It's, it's just no, uh, then no good can come from it. Uh, you know, we're trying to uh, get, we're trying to get, you know, everything uh, back together uh, after, you know, uh, you know, calamity, the burdens, and all these things. Something like a primordial, primordial waking up uh, is, is, well, calamitous. I hate to say the word, but it is. May I do a religion check to uh, know the details of what makes the primordial different from a normal god? Sure. Hey, All Chance. Right. Chance, come here. Come here. What do you think of this guy? Uh huh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't think his hat spins. Ooh, sir, maybe it flies. Sir, I hate to tell you this. That ferret is dead. Can I cast guidance on myself. Excuse me. Sir, I, I hate to tell oh, you this, yeah. and I think that you may know, but your ferret is dead. Uh, I am not sure what you're talking about. It has ceased to be. It is no more. <laughs> I, Jen, Jen, Jen will like hold up her hand with like a knowing look in her eye towards the uh, <laughs> collar, with, with with like the body language of like just just don't. I've already tried. Just don't. <laughs> What was that barking? It wasn't Carmen. Fucking dog cow. Where's my pizza? (laughs) What did you get? Sorry. Oh, 20. 20? Okay, um... Let's see, you get from a 20 looking at my notes. I need to organize my notes a lot better. I know about the prime. I know, I know the difference. Uh, so you... Based on the information that you all were looking up and the you kind of think that maybe primordial is a little off in description, but there's no description that you can really apply to it. It's a it's like a life form deity that took over almost like a Titan style structure created by another deity almost to reign over one during after the divergence. You're kind of putting two and two together based off of his things, plus what you've learned in the books that whatever the Sukatoa is, it is a behemoth of a creature that took over with the energies of a god after a god created it and was kicked out of the prime material plane. 
And there's no real term to really describe it, but primordial or titan would probably be the closest thing to describe this kind of an entity. A new god. It came, it came after primordials, but it's on the same level as a yeah. primordial. So, so it's that's a neo the closest primordial. way to... Yeah. All right. That's good to know. I, you know, like the lore of primordial seems to be different from realm to realm, so I figured it's worth the check. That is, that is very dangerous. Well, everything God related is dangerous. Yep. Good or bad. But yeah, I, no. I freely, uh, I freely uh, share my notes with uh, Whisker. Yeah. Um. Th yes, this is all. This is all quite frightening. And, but see, it's also. I don't want to be too dire because I also feel like this could also be very. Um, this could be very. Uh, for, fortuitous, because what this could mean your your rod that you found uh, an un, an uncovered rod. This is an R covered uncovered uncovered. <laughs> Excuse me, an, un, <laughs> an uncovered artifact uh, could lead generally uh, has been uncovered uh, along with other artifacts. So we may find other artifacts, other um, uh, new findings, new. Maybe even the sites, ruins, and things of the sort, uh, along with uh, getting to the bottom of whatever has uh, uh, an actuality transpired. Uh, well, we do know the location of uh, some runes that are associated with Ukatoa and his uh, his friends, but we passed up on searching those in exchange for fighting the cult. So if you want to, if you stick around with us, Maybe we can, uh, after we're done with our business of making some coin and making some business, we can uh, help you by exploring that cave. Those, uh, those sure, rooms. sure. That does that does sound good, and it sounds like I got here right at the right time. You got done fighting the cult. Now we can go uh, do some research, and I can really shine. But uh, we do. Uh, but to Rainer's point, we do have some jobs that we're waiting on. So you're gonna have oh, to accompany oh. us on oh. that until. Oh, Until oh, those are done. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, I forgot okay. to mention. I see, I see. You, you, a couple, you a couple of mercenaries. This is, this is a mercenary group. You kind of just run around doing things for money. I, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I, I don't like to judge. I've been around a long time, and I've seen a lot of stuff. And I don't like to judge too much. You know, so... Almost that, that sounds okay to me. Mercenary. We're just going to do a little business. It's not big. Well, you're the... Uh, you, well, uh, you're uh, the cleric. Uh, looks like uh, of the... Of the Moonweaver. It's... Um, Correct? Yes, I, I I am a woman of the cloth, and I start this started off as a personal journey, and I've circumstances and fate has caused me to fall in with this group of adventurers, and I do wish fate to help them. Fate off the nut. Fate off the nut. Yeah, fate is uh, fate is weird, but. Sure. Well, it it it, it, heart, it heartens me to see uh, a person of your of your person is uh, running, running along with this group. You know, it makes me feel like it's uh, uh it's, it's safe to be around. You know, they may be kind of you know some. I see that you got some characters in this group. I see that, but uh, uh you know, uh, level headed. I think mostly. You know, I I know of the moon week of the moon week, and I and I am sympathetic to her and others. Uh, under like s behind Whiskers' back, I point towards I point towards Jen with one hand, my robot hand. I have my hand up to my ear with my other hand, and in Jen's mind here, she hears me say, "And having a research a lot." Thus, might not be a bad thing, especially if you want some freely do research on your item that you had me look. Is this the message cantrip so that I yes. can respond back? Yes. All right. Jin will quietly respond back. I definitely do see the value in having a Cobalt Soul member with us, but I don't know if I can trust him quite yet. I'm sure he'll earn my trust relatively quickly. If he's on the up and up, though, I 
I do enjoy chatting with fellow scholars. What's your passive whisker? Passive what? Perception. Sorry. Passive perception? Uh, would just be 11. Okay. Can I do a deception or a sleight of hand? To... No. Okay. This was about something else. Um, nobody noticed. Um, Silas finishes the cup of coffee in front of him. <laughs> uh, says, thanks for the coffee, Bishop, right? Yes. We spent most of the night together. Do you not remember my name? I drink a lot. Oh, okay. Thought we were having some fun conversations, but anyhow. Uh Raina, any other any word on, on your job? Oh. I'd like to get I'd uh -oh. like to get on the road as soon as possible. Right, 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 right. Hold up. Uh we gotta make a quick stop to the market before we uh meet up with uh, our contact. Uh good news, good news, good news. Uh things are moving forward. We are expected. That's a good thing. I think that uh, we'll all be pleasantly... Should be an easy, breezy, beautiful cover job. Okay. Well, you're the one... Yeah. You are the one yeah. who knows about this, so we're running point... You're running points on this. We'll just follow your lead. I'm going to go get... Uh, oh, wow, Anita, what is your name? Going? What is your character? Apgar. <laughs> Apgar. Oh, can you? Uh... I'll go Apgar and uh, Mog. Of course, our lovely friend Mog, who is joining us on all of our endeavors for all time. Love that man. Love him like a brother. I'm still asleep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hey, do you mind uh, throwing some of that uh, returning blade my way? Uh, what? Oh yeah, who has who, 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 Yeah, who uh, Mog <laughs> Actually, yeah, Mog has that right now. Unless we go up and yeah, I'll go I'll have to go ask Mog Ooh. Mog for that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, of course. I'll of go course. upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go you upstairs and like a friend. <laughs> if that is that counts as my infusion. If Mog doesn't come with the party, that's not come that's not staying with him. Because okay, mechanics over roleplay, no problem. I hear, I hear loud and clear. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's an infusion spot slot. That is an expensive thing okay. of my character sheet. I can't just let you have that. Oh yeah, uh, you only got yeah, but I can't not right. give you a hard time about it. All right, yeah. I, head, I head upstairs, <laughs> and I and I go. I'll, I'll okay. get Apgar. You get you you go to Mog. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I tap on the door real lightly, and I creak it open, and I go, I go. Hey, Mog. Mog. <laughs> wakey, wakey. He, Whis he's, did Whisker, he stretches. Did Whisker follow us upstairs? No, Whisker's <laughs> like, oh, you guys are so, you guys are leaving like right now. Actually, I need to go get some bags and stuff. I will be right back. I got to go to the library. And I, look, don't leave without me. This is a fight, guy. Okay. I, I, uh, uh, and then... Uh, uh, hey, hey, Mog. Hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning, kitty, 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 kitty. Listen. He wakes up. He he wakes up, <laughs> and he's like a. No, he he wakes up and he st he get like puts his knees and his feet on the bed, and then he just does like a big stretch, and he kind of like vibrates. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. whole bed vibrates. Uh, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, wait, what is he? he's like, is Rainer Rainer this night. Rainer, no, it is your room. Mm, 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 I see. Yeah, I got a quick question. Oh, I got a quick question. Morning. Quick request. It's morning. Yes. Uh, remember that fun knife I gave you the other day? Yes, daggering. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Hey, w what if I hand you uh, a couple gold in exchange <laughs> to maybe borrow that? I got I got something I what? gotta do and a, a You want you want returning knife. Right. Re knife return. Huh? Right, knife right, return, right. huh? Is returning knife, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh 
I and I I go uh two daggers five gold you can get some more daggers if you want you want to trade my persuasion is do you want to roll persuasion or would mod be okay with this I'm not I'm not selling this I feel it well just oh he just dropped out so. I think that's a no bro. Roll persuasion, I guess, and Messi comes back and says yes. Great, I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he says when he gets back. <laughs> uh, I well, that's happening. I go to Apgar and wake her up, and I'll just pursue the door. Apgar, my friend, needs you. I need you for. We need you for a job. I uh, jump out of bed. <gasps> what did I miss? Oh, a lot, a lot. Exposition dump. I tell her everything. <laughs> blah 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 blah. Yeah, we're waiting. We have a job. We're following Rainer to a job, a sketchy thing that only he knows about. And then we're going to kill some goblins slash kobolds for money. Well, Jen doesn't want to kill the kobolds. Yeah. And I don't. And Bishop doesn't want to either. It doesn't Well, he doesn't want to kill the goblins. He doesn't care about killing. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, but that's just what he says. It's a clever lie. It's a clever lie that he tells to get her involved. Yes, I love murder. I mean, oh, fun. I, I thought, I thought that in, would entice you. All right, get your things. Let's go. And back to, back to Justin. You're back? Yes. Hey Justin, how how do you feel about that trade? What? Because um, while while uh, Rainer is attempting to discuss this with you, he begins to have a profuse nosebleed, and he's trying to like like hide it, ignore it, just like act like it's not happening. But he's his nose is bleeding profusely. Hey. Rainer, no, Rainer. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rainer. Oh. Uh, your uh, uh, your snoot. Oh no. Uh, oh this. Uh, yeah. Don't don't worry about. It. Hey, well, how are you feeling about that trade, buddy? <laughs> your snoot. That's bleed. Hey, <laughs> what problem? What problem? You took dagger. Returning dagger. Return right back to owner. <laughs> it's no problem. It's no problem. I don't need dagger. I it, all daggers are turned to mock. This is no skill. He throws it to you, but then it comes back to him, and he's like. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I, I guess he, like, puts it on the table, like, really slowly, and then slowly backs away from it. He's like, all right, now you get... All right, so, cool. Um, I rolled a one on my persuasion, so that's great. <laughs> um, I'm glad yeah, if you didn't come Mog back so in nice. time, it was, he was not going to... Mog, yeah. is a, Mog is a good person. Okay, all right, cool. I'll, uh, I'll put it cool. in. I, I go, uh, uh, I don't have any kitty treats. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, what did you say? I oh, make, <laughs> hey, what? I make, uh, I make, uh, chance to do a little dance. And I go, do a little. uh, you're, uh, what do you say to cats when they're good? Good, good cat. Good cat. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mog. Mog jumps. Mog, Mog jumps up from the bed, and he uh, throws you against the wall. He puts his, grabs your shirt with his claws, and he does the thing, and he says, "Right, I have no pet. Oh. As Mog, as Tabaxi. Oh, uh, Rainer. Good Tabaxi. Rainer. 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 I don't like you. I don't like you, Rainer." Good to let you go. And okay. he, he storms out of the room. Yep. All right. Got that back. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rainer's takeaway from that conversation. I got my knife back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It'll take you an hour or two to reattune with it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. If we're spending an hour at all. 
I wish to spend 10 gold to ritual cast Find Familiar. Uh, uh, yeah, and I guess I would go downstairs and go just inform everyone that it's... Uh, we have until, like, sundown. Okay. Right? So we have an hour. Yeah. We have an hour to spend. I thought, it was morning. I thought we have a day to kind of... Yeah, until sundown. It's right in the morning right now. You have plenty of... I, wow. I, I, I was woken up for nothing. What? Well, apparently they're going to the market. Oh, the market! <laughs> but, uh... Shopping! Jen, roll and then roll a d20 real quick. Alright. Sixteen. Okay, yeah. Uh, while you were pick up the things to summon the fine familiar, so yeah, you can do that. And we'll just say I picked those up at the marketplace. Yeah. I mean, they probably were selling the incense and everything nearby because a lot of wizards and sorcerers visit the yeah. library. And I'm down to three gold. My character is allergic to money. All did wizards I, wait, and clerics did give, are. Did I give... Uh... And I um, think, uh, no, bards keep money, rogues keep money, wizards and clerics spend it, paladins do something with it. Oh, I, I have to spend it, too. Yeah. Artif Artificers spend it. I can't think of anybody who keeps it other than bards and rogues, really. Yeah, rogues, rogues need it, really. Returning. That's their money. They won't give it away. Same with bards. Nice. Okay, that's okay. I'm good on spending things. I, I don't need. Uh, I don't think I need anything right now. Does anybody else need to role play stuff for um, the thing at sundown? There's only one thing that I need to get in the market, and, okay, and that would be some nets. All right. Well, it's not too hard to find a general store yeah, or at a, at a port. There'd be plenty of nets, yeah. right? Fishing yeah. nets or yeah. You don't even have to go all the way down to the market or fishing net. A simple nets. Okay. All up and down the dock. Yeah, I just need. Uh, I think I need two of them. Okay. Uh, Whisker uh, is copying some spells at the library while you guys are doing this. Well, if everyone has a. I'm not going to do like the full homunculus thing, but it also doesn't make sense that he could carry this or that it can that it can just pop out of nowhere. So, Brian, I'm going to say my Elder's Cannon, the little the little spider ball thing that yeah. I drew. That's my Elder's Cannon that I can just pop out whenever that lasts like an hour for cum. Yeah. But when it's not activated, that activation can last an hour. But when it's not doing that, can I just say that it is like a ball, like a ball the size of like a basketball that's rolling and following around like a BB-8? Yeah, I... But like to do like the Eldritch Cannon stuff, it has to... It. Yeah, I will say, yeah, you can do that. You can have it be a... It follows you around, um... Similar to like the um, BB-8 or a uh, what's that thing? There was that luggage that follows people around. It's like a little vehicle. It was very weird. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. And then uh, you can do the uh, commands to turn it into attack mode for turret, uh, ballista, yeah. or healing, or whatever. All right. So I have like a little golden ball, a brass, brass and like gold type ball made of metal that's uh follow me around the size of a basket just follow me around sometimes i i will talk to it and it makes little bb8 whip beeping like noises yeah little droid noises who, who, who does not have a who does not have an animal companion 
A what? Uh, do we all do we all have companions Technically, right now? Rainer doesn't have an animal companion. Because oh yes, he does. <laughs> oh, yes, he absolutely <laughs> does. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what. Rainer is not in question. Rainer, uh, absolutely. Ch what is his name? Charles? What is it? Chuck? Chance. What? Chance. Chance. Absolutely. Chance is an animal companion. That's Who not is a bishop's question. animal companion? This little homunculus that he's. Uh, uh, little robot. He has, yeah, part of his class, he gets an Eldritch Cannon, like a little uh, oh. small cannon that he can just serve and thing yeah. that will blast things. But uh, yeah, he's right now when it's inert, it's just a gold ball following me. It's in my character art that I posted. Yeah, I remember that. It's just yeah. not an animal. So well, uh, it's a little companion. Maybe, we we'll all have, get some, we, maybe, we'll, we, maybe we'll strap some fur to it later. We all have little companions. I'm saying yeah. we have enough for a one shot where it's all of our animal, all of our little companions going around. Yes, we do. Ooh, Let's... That might not work without Rainer. <laughs> why? Why would that not work? Why? Come on! Of course, uh, can... Rainer. Uh, the nets you were looking for it cost a gold each. Yeah, got it. Um, okay. Also, I think from there, I think he's just gonna head over to the. Uh, tumble down dock and uh, kind of scope out the area and, and kind of stake out the dock while uh, specifically slip 57. Okay, cool. And if anyone wants to join, uh, he tells the group, uh, you, yeah, so uh, if you all want, you can meet me there later or I'm going to head over and kind of uh, get a lay of the land. Um, I, It's just a personal thing. I like to, you know, Scope things out before you go. You never know, you know. Uh, Does Apgar want to hit the stores? Or do you want to kind of meander that way and start scoping the area out? Uh, let's meander that way and start scoping the area out. Okay, cool. Great. Um, I go. Uh, just. Just you know, keep a keep your head down for a little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know when uh, when I see the uh, folks that we're supposed to meet. Uh, I suppose with the gap of time, um, unless like the group is in a designated area, in which case, uh, Jin will not split the party. Um, if it's possible to near be near both Apgar and uh, Bishop, she will, but. If it's one or the other, then she'll be trying to learn a bit more Dorvish from Bishop. Oh, right. I am teaching. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> give him a dirty look every time uh, he teaches me a new curse word. Because, like, I, uh, I, am, I am not, like, shy. Once again, I'm not shying away from the fact that I am teaching you curse words as, like, the root, as, like, the base to get you familiar with the language. Because that is how he was taught. And how wow. most people are taught taught dwarvish that is how the dwarves what? prefer to be taught <laughs> uh, t teach english uh I mean, sorry teach uh dwarvish. i read in historical accounts that most dwarvish clans tend to have a sense of honor and dignity where do these curse words come from in that yeah their curses are part of the honor because they're striking down their opponents in honor and glory they say fuck you she didn't <laughs> seem very confused at this very alien concept <laughs> These are your people. I don't know why I'm describing. I have to teach you these things. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't Whisker, raised uh, by dwarves, but yeah. I was raised by an elf and a halfling. Whisker will catch up with you guys if you guys are out in the public. He sees Bishop in his arm, and he's like, he scurries over, and he's got a he's got a big bag, like a like a scroll bag behind him now, and oh. his uh in his uh cane and stuff oh i never asked jen what is your uh, you guys. What, what's your uh familiar i posted a picture of uh the oh. beast that is in the semblance of a cat but um she'll keep the fact that she's cast find familiar secret for now so the cat's just following us along the alley with its mischievous dual colored eyes i don't see a picture of Cat in the general chat. chat. No, that's a that's a. I don't know what that is, but some kind of Satan beast. That's a. <laughs> it's white, uh, it's white demonic creature. No. 
<laughs> That's a demon if I ever saw one. It's been a while since I've read my revelations, but I know oh, a demon. Oh, what a I sweet kitty. One. Look at his big old nose. Oh, All right. that's, that's a picture of one of our cats, Precious. This is it's, weird. The returning dagger, is. Mm -hmm. uh, if it hits a dwarf, it deals 2d8 damage. <laughs> <laughs> what? It just, when you hit with a ranged attack using this weapon, it deals an extra 1d8 damage, or if the target is a dwarf, 2d8 damage. Like, for yeah. no reason. That's why? Because fuck dwarves, that's why. Okay. I'm sure there's a lower reason. Wait, for that. wait, where did where did you see that magic item in D and D Beyond? That's oh, that's Return Dagger. Uh, read this. Where is any more in the description? Uh, you gain a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. As a thrown property with a normal range of twenty feet and a long range of sixty feet, when you hit with a range attack using this weapon, it deals an extra one d eight, or if the target is a dwarf. 2d8 damage. Immediately after attack, the weapon flies back to your hand. It might have been made by like Drow or something, or like Mortal I don't but think it's... that's the right dagger. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, rare requires it's also... attunement by a Drow. Okay. Yeah, yeah there it is. It's not plus three either, is it? No, it's plus one to attack and damage. Okay, that's the wrong item. Yeah. Pretty sneaky, it's not man. there. There is not a magic item for this. In it. It's oh, okay. like an infusion thing. It's not. It shouldn't exist as a magic item. You'll have to like just grab a dagger and add the bonus yourself to it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And it's plus one? Yeah, to attack and damage. Got it, got it. Okay. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Alright. It's so, not oh, wait, night, so, but the only so map I familiar, have is night. So fine familiar, are, are these, like, uh, like, this cat looks like a normal cat? I mean, it's not like how the picture looks. Oh, I thought Fine Familiar, like, they were, like, ghostly or spectral or, you know, like... Um, if I recall correctly, it's like real animal. a phase spirit that's taking the physical shape of an animal of your choice. I mean, if you want right, cool, something cool. to look a little um, spectral, you could possibly have that as part of your flavor for it, but... Okay. You might Not be thinking of the uh, druid option to burn a wild shape for an animal companion. Or maybe I'm thinking of it. In that case, then you see a uh, a small black nose poke out of Whisker's bag. We all have pets. We all have pets. <laughs> Yay! Brian, aren't you happy? Aren't you happy that all <laughs> of us have pets you have to keep track of? Isn't this awesome? <laughs> Yes, until one of them becomes the big bad. Uh, what's your what? Uh, do what's the thing coming out of your bag? Uh, Mister? you just see a black nose with. A, oh, you are you asking him? Yes, is that uh is that a creature? Is that a creature in your in your? Oh yeah, yeah, that's my little buddy. Uh, he he switches he he throws his bag around and he opens up the top and there's a little badger in there. <gasps> There's a badger in there on top of his ba on top of his books. It's like, uh, yeah, this is my familiar. His name is Whisker too. We all have, <laughs> we all have companions. Yay! I'm so happy. You, what? You seem pretty interested in this badger. Are you? You're an animal lover, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually. No, all that excitement was Trey. Bishop just goes, "No, just curious. It's just we all have little pets, but uh, I, I actually don't prefer the organics as my, my pets. Uh, and I'll just pat my little ball that's following me. Let's, let's clean up with the automatons." Sure. Yeah. 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 To ether. To, to. Sorry. To, to ether own, sir. Yeah, I'll stick with little, my little chaos here. I, does Whisker, like, yeah, got whistle, do little tiny, like, whistles when he can't think of the word? He's Yeah, he's got such a big, like, his big bushy beard and mustache and stuff. It's kind of, like, in his way. What I was trying to do, I was trying to get, um, you know, the gopher f from uh, Winnie the Pooh? Oh, that's <laughs> right. When he says his S, is he'll whistle. And I was trying to figure that out, but I just, I just can't. So I wound up with, like, a lisp, but the lisp is really just supposed to be, like, his beard and stuff getting in the way. And he'll get all kind of like yeah tied up and stuff, and he'll start to whistle, and then it, it reminds uh, me of it's like a it's like a a tweak like a 
like a twitch yeah, uh, when you, a like... twitch yeah yeah a tick yeah a tick there that's yeah. what i'm looking for I love it that. also it's also do you guys know that 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 tom and jerry episode uh jerry's like uncle his country uncle comes with a guitar and this giant yeah. mustache yes wow like that guy too you are pulling some deep cuts my friend <laughs> yeah, dude. i once Whiskers, again i don't what I know this character on I Whiskers don't know one. what stuff I can't. I'm like forgetting because I'm remembering Tom's uncle from. <laughs> um, on, oh man, on the way there, uh, if if Apgar's with us, um, Jin will like, you know, say, "Hey, it's been a while since you've been here. Um, hopefully, you found the town all right. Um, off on your own adventure." Yeah. I just got really, really, really lost. But luckily, a nice gentleman helped me out. I'm glad there's good Samaritans out there. Just please be careful. You worry me sometimes. Oh, that's so sweet. I pat you on the head, little one. I stare, I stare up at her like I was sincere in my statement, and I'm not like angry or anything, but I'm kind of confused as to her... Uh, Candidness, I she handed you a card. reverse Uno card. Just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jen will then turn to uh, Whiskers and ask. Uh, so you I get can... one. His name is Whisker. Oh yes. Jen will turn to Whisker. Oh yes. Was Thank was you. wait was he around for all this? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have no okay, great. I'm confused. All so you need to know this great. is this is Justin. That that little outburst was Justin yelling, demanding that, not Whisker. And it's been that developing was... for a very long time. <laughs> people like Jeez. people like to roll over my names in this game, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> it's Whisker, not Whiskers. It's Tabaxi, and it's not Cat. Core, not K. <laughs> What was your other what was your other character's name? Kurgorg Snorgle Kukar? Right. Oh my god, that's not fair. God. Yeah, that was that, that was one. ridiculous. Um anyway, just, It's a common know, name in Bugbear so, tribes. Whisker, I'm yes, sir. I picked up recently magic as kind of a hobby. I don't consider myself a proper wizard, just a wizard hobbyist. Still, um Sure, no problem. Yeah, if if you are more of a professional wizard, uh, when we have the chance, would you mind uh, swapping spells and spell books so I can expand my knowledge and hopefully I can do the same for you in return? Hey, sir, yeah, I'd love to compare spell books sometime. Yeah, I just got a little notebook here. It's got all my stuff. I just put a couple things in there today. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we, well, I'd love to. Whenever you like. Right, yeah, we'll, we'll try to take care of that next time everyone is has a bit of time to chill, you know? Right now we're on. Sure, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll swap spells over a drink. All right. Yeah, that that's all of Jen's interactions on the way there. Oh, um, Anita, be sure to put Apgar up to level three. Oh, you level, ah, oh, damn it. I mean, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to figure out some things. You still didn't decide your barbarian subclass? Nope. Wild magic, wild magic, wild magic. No, I'm kidding. Don't listen to me. Pick what you want to play. Are we at the docks? Uh, yeah, it's not night, but the only image I have. Sure, sure, sure. Um, <coughs> I, also, I, that, presume that boat's not there. Right. Um, I think I we. I, I'd like to just kind of look around the area and see <laughs> if I can tell... If there's anything like uh, uh, cranes or something of that nature that are nearby that could be advantageous to be aware of. Okay. Just on the down low. Um, what should, what you should gonna I look out for that? long legged birds? Uh, investigation check. Kind of look around. Or perception check, actually, because this is um, items that should be pretty visible. Okay. I rolled a 10 on perception. 
I mean, you've got these kind of um, like right here. Uh, if you can see the ping in mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. you've got these kind of uh, simple cranes with uh, ropes and pulleys in them. This one's set up with the board for lowering in it. But they would clear the deck of a small ship, of a slip. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I go, hey, hey, gang. Hey, gang. Hey, gang. We're, uh, uh, this is it. This is, uh, the spot. We gotta kinda wait out here. Our, uh, our job should be arriving soon, and we just gotta make sure that some, some perfectly normal items <clears throat> are extracted, and that the ship is moored safely and permanently. <clears throat> What you got oh, there? A pirate or something? Uh, Rainer, how many hours do we have before the ship arrives? What time of day is it? Currently, DM. Um, let's see. It would have taken you probably about an hour to find nets and gather everybody up together to go, especially with um, uh, Jint summoning a, a familiar. Okay. Uh, it would also give you time to uh, tune to dagger um so i would say you, know, you probably got everything started around i got to this area around 10 or 11 so yeah it's probably about midday uh let's see it's probably sundown around seven eight i have an idea then we got, we got a couple hours to kill depending on how much the dean's willing to let me get away with here okay <laughs> I have okay. Like said, molder. I wish to mold as much earth as I can off the docks and city streets into the water where the boat's supposed to be. Just this... slowly fill up specifically that area. I go, I go hold, hold on, hold on. This is a commercial dock. I'm pretty sure if you do something like that, someone's gonna someone's gonna raise a stink. That's a magneto ship, man. That's not a cantrip. It would Molder take a while to do that. Powerful. I don't know why yeah. it's a cantrip. Because you have to. No, yeah, never mind. It's, it's five foot square every six seconds. I, but how Jin, many six seconds are in an hour? Jin, Jin, hey, Jin. I, what do I say? Like this is supposed to be. It, yeah. If, if you bring that up with us, it seems like this is supposed to be stealth. This might. Uh, hey, hey, Jin. We, let's let's keep a low profile. I I like where you're going with that. But uh, let's try not to attract too much attention before our uh, our ticket arrives. <clears throat> yeah, this, this, the yeah the 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 the, the, the streets <laughs> are pretty clean around here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the dock workers would not be uh, happy about you interrupting their uh, future livelihoods. I think. All right. Yeah. Also Jen was thinking, oh, I could just moor the ship in the docks as soon as they land. But yeah, like after being told to keep a low profile, she she will, though, just out of curiosity, I would like to test to see if dirt underwater counts as loose earth for purposes of uh, mold earth. Hell. Uh, let's see. <laughs> 30 feet away, so... Five feet cube, but it's it's a it's mud. It's not gonna be super stable. Oh, that you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think it would count as loose earth. Okay, just one. Yeah, the uh, area around the dock wouldn't really be loose earth because it's all paved road and wood boards. What were you gonna? Were you trying to like ground the ship? Yes. <laughs> I mean. Uh, five more. hours to repeatedly cast the same spell, it's theoretically possible. Especially if I slap a ray of frost on some of the dirt to make it more compact. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Molder technically... Be... Okay, now. You could have definitely be... done all of that if it um, wasn't for the fact that Rainer really hasn't told you what's going on. That's true, but um, mooring a ship uh, doesn't incur a loss of life, and he did mention that the ship needed to stay. But yeah, after being told to calm down, like I said, Jin will calm down. He thought she was being very clever. I went, 
So, didn't, didn't Withery is a, a, a subtle arc? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wizardry, withered gent, wizard, wizardry is a <laughs> subtle art. One that it, you know, you 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 want to kind of just sit on in there. I don't disagree. Um, uh, with Whisker, I I have gotten into arcane debates with um wizards in the past. There's this one. Let's charitably call him a jerk in my past, who was all about that school of evocation. He would never shut up about explosives. And it's like ma magic is a multifaceted, multicultural uh, like thing. Like there's all sorts of angles to it. And I sure. feel like just blowing things up is not constructive or helpful for society as a whole. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, it's just I think your I think uh, your your cancer your cantrip approach approach may need some work, but that's just for me. A seasoned uh, illusion illusionary wizard, uh, gnome of some import, but uh, don't listen to me. Don't oh. listen to me. So oh. What are we doing out here anyway? Oh. No, no. Uh, 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 Whisker, you are with the cobalt moss, yes. right? I'm with the. I am not. While not technically a monk of the cobalt soul, uh, I sure feel like one out here. So yeah, <laughs> sure. What's you, you? You worship goddess of knowledge, and and you're looking for expanding knowledge. That's kind of your your goal. Your goal. Uh, sure. I love in you, and I love to expand my knowledge and the knowledge of others, and especially especially the 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 knowledge of the gnomes and the velvet thicket. Oh, okay. Hey. What do you know about the Myriad? The Myriad? Uh, why don't I check? Roll and, a history. Uh, all right. And I guess anyone, everyone can hear me say this, the Myriad. Never yes. heard of them. Jen's listening, but, you know, there's no reason to speak up yet. Yeah, he... He got a well. He got a nine. No, uh, yeah, nine. You've heard of them, but only in whispers as a an organization that was once uh, brought down, but may have been coming back through Rexentrum. I, 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 the name seems familiar, and I feel like I've seen them in my, uh, you know, in my researches. But I, they are uh, they're that's a defunct group, no. Oh, yeah. So they are... Mm, they're a criminal organization that tends to deal with in nefarious things that we have Ooh. some... Uh, I have some beef with. You know, not necessarily against or for, just, you know, they're bad guys. So I, I want to just let you... And, and I guess I should tell everyone here... Um, the ship that's coming is going to be uh, owned by a criminal organization known as the Myriad, and um, yeah, yeah. So just be cool, guys. Be cool. Okay, you know, Whisker's always cool. <laughs> Whisker mumbles to himself. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, okay, and I think I'm going to just post up Trey, and, and wait until uh i think trey was trying to say something but i don't know oh is he can't Nothing. hear you Nothing. oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> shit sorry i was just saying like yeah yeah that uh that tracks that that tracks i was all right I'm waiting back. for that i was waiting for that shoe to drop but uh prepared myself all right criminal organization take down their boat that's your plan uh, Bishop, you're not uncomfortable, are you? I, I don't, I don't want to make anyone here uncomfortable. It's not my goal to make anyone uncomfortable. <laughs> no, you found out about a, you found, to not say anything. You found out about an evil, about a, uh, a boat coming in. Somehow, you found out about a boat that's coming in from, uh, from an evil organization, and for some reason, you want to take it down. 
Well, yeah, we don't necessarily piece. need to take it down. We could just... Um, there's honestly some things on the boat that we need to okay. extract. Yeah, but what, hey, what kind of items are on the boat? Hey? Well, yeah, what is what's the cog? What's the cargo that they have? Hey, good news. Whatever you find is yours. Okay, that's a weird. That's a weird answer, Rainer. I gotta yeah, tell you, it's very, very vague. That's a weird answer, but I don't hate it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying we're pirates. I'm just saying that we may be taking opportunities here that are arriving. Uh, there's going to be listen, listen, Rainer, you're, 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 that you're, you're taking an awful lot of time to, to euphemize, euphemisms, euphemize uh, your your actions here, and I think we're all on the same page. Great, great, I think great, we great. see what's going on here. So why great. don't we just be careful and get the job done? Whisker, we're going to get along great. Hell yeah, we are. He 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 puts his hand out. Um, and uh, I throw. Uh, chance at you, and he does a high five in midair, and then falls to the ground, and, and then walks back to me. And I'm like, "Hell yeah!" That was pretty disturbing. By the way, per- that that parrot joke earlier was perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, that was so good. I wish I knew more of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Yes. It was, it was, it was, mwah, it was perfect. <coughs> Don't fall down the Monty Python hole. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I will um, call my familiar to me and uh, hand moon dust over to uh, Apgar. Um, like, is it, with Apgar's pseudo dragons on one shoulder, I'm like, you have room for one more, Apgar, as I've hit moon dust on her shoulder. Cool. Thank you. More friends. And I'll uh, cast a mage armor on Apgar while I'm there. Oh, Apgar, you're really good at making new friends, right? Yeah. I've got two (laughs) friends that are going to be on this boat. You might be the best person to talk to them. Okay. They could use a friend. Oh, I'm down. Great, 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 great. You're a uh, fighter. Say that again, Justin. I uh, this uh, he he was just he he realized that Apgar was a satyr. Mm. Wow. <laughs> sure. Kudos to you for not seeing race. <laughs> what? I said kudos to to you for not seeing race. Nice. You're just now noticing she's a satyr. Nice. <laughs> Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, once the once Whisker it seems is. like the boat, I always do that. Yeah. Once the boat seems like it's coming in, uh, he's going. Uh, Bishop's going to cast a uh, long rider on. So. Well, out of curiosity, what's so, everybody's speed? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Wait. Are you at twenty five, uh, Apgar? You should be at a twenty five, right? I said thirty five. Okay, I misheard you. My bad. And what was everybody else's? Twenty five. Yeah. It's complicated trying to run two characters. Okay. All right. Yeah, he casts a uh, long strider on himself. Yeah. Both so. Guess kind. Of... Are you all spending hours just sitting out here on the dock waiting for a boat? Yeah. I guess so. Okay. I'm fishing. Watching the time. Uh, I've got a card okay. set. Anyone want to? You know what? I'm challenging you to a card game. I'll Why play not? cards. Sure. Yeah, sure. I'll play. I'll throw down with you guys. All right. One gold you guys want to play space? A DM, uh, can we name this card game, or is there one in universe that the card game tool proficiency represents? I was just going to say I mean, highest roll wins. <laughs> I mean, there are card games, so but yeah, that's just simple one. Highest card win or highest roll wins. Oh, highest of three wins or something like that. All right, I was thinking Jin um, secretly I mean, loves playing dueling monsters. How do we? How do? How many? Uh... 
Oh, fuck you. Did you put <laughs> dual monsters in this game? Fuck you. Uh, how, how, uh... <laughs> you all have pets now, so you could technically be Pokemon characters now. Yeah. Okay, uh, how many how many dice are we rolling? Uh, 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 each hand would be th winner was the best out of three. Um, what what proficiency does the card game tool use? There's a straight card. I think it's one d twenty. Okay, you add your proficiency bonus. Chris Unless you're, pro yeah, if you're proficient with cards, then you get to add proficiency. Otherwise, it's cards. It's just a straight d twenty. Okay. I got thirty four. Unless you're cheating. How are you getting a third? Oh, three different dice. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying each one's a different number. Oh. I add guidance on myself. First one is. I mean, if you're trying to cheat, maybe. I rolled Does a 15. Count as cheating? I don't know. I mean, you're praying to a god, so. I'm praying that my you're god. You're praying to god to win a back. card game? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> This is in line with the Moonweaver, so yeah, you could. All right. I'm going to. All right. Uh, well, it's a good thing I don't have any money on this game. I didn't know we could call our uh, other deities in to help us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was oh, going to say no, uh, it was going to be a, a, a five gold buy in, but if you're bringing God into this, I'm going to bring that down to one. <laughs> uh, okay. For the record, Jin isn't playing for money, she's just really competitive when it comes to card games. But there is a one gold buy in, so you technically are. But <laughs> uh, she tosses it what's in. What's uh, what, uh, all right? So, what was everybody's first roll? 17. I had a one more. I rolled a high 15. I rolled a 21. She did you add a modifier to that? Yeah, I'm proficient. Jesus, okay. I rolled a five. <laughs> okay, I got a 13. Okay, so she okay. Jen wins. Second roll, fifteen. Eighteen. Two. Five. <laughs> Rainer. Rainer. He won. I heard a bell. I can't hear him. Rainer's hand is on the ground and he's walked away. He rolled a two two minutes ago and a fifteen. Yeah, I, I rolled high fifteen. Okay, so. So the only one he got was a fifteen. All right, so, so 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 Jen wins again. All yeah. right, last roll two. Yeah, nice. I I think Rit, uh, Yeah, Jen just wins because it best two out of three. She right. just got like the highest out of two hands. Yeah. You got a fifteen after that. So Jen's like, hey, you guys want to play this cool new game I have with these deck of cards that I brought? And then just sits down and stomps the shit out of all of us. We're like, okay, cool game, Jen. <laughs> all right, I rolled high 17 this time. Oh, yeah. Jen briefly for like, um, especially during round two, slip, like slips in under her breath a dwarvish curse word, but then like gets horrified at herself and hopes no one heard that. Um, But yeah, like she wins. But she won't take your money. She's like, no, 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 no. You can keep uh, your money. Just Jen, know that. Uh, Jen, that's not how. That's not how this works. You can't absolve yourself of the, of the sinning. You gamble. <laughs> you take your win. You take your winnings. You won. That's you're, how gam. That's yeah, how well, gambling you works. Your blood winnings. Yeah, that's how gambling take works. Take your dirty you money. I hope. Yeah. You, I hope choke on it. Yeah. How, how much gold did right. Jen win? So I'm, I'm, I'm four, down four gold because. Yeah, four gold because we yeah, all put in. Yeah, I'm down two gold. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I think I, really that much. I think that's enough for me. I'm. Is this boat coming in or not? <laughs> yeah. It's like. So you, you tell you what, you guys like playing games. I, because I you, game. all I you guys are all like fishing and playing games. The boat. You won't have any guards to deal with. So, uh, Whisker, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I just, I just, I just, he was just gonna tell him about a game that he wants, he would like to show them one day. It's kind of. It takes a little bit longer to play. Okay. This, this game takes a little bit longer to play. It's kind of a, a longer game. It's, it's kind of like a where where you you take on the role of a, of another character <laughs> and you play as them. It's it's got it's a cool it's a cool little game. If, if you roll dice and stuff, it's called it's called it's called Burrows and Badgers. Oh God, and it's, no it's, it's a lot of fun. 
it's a lot of fun, and if I could get you all just to buy in a little bit on it in a couple hours of your time, I think we could all have a lot of fun together. But listen, the, for the things that both coming in, we should talk about it later. My brain, the singularity. Oh, God. I made that up so long ago, I never got to say it. Jin, Jin, of course, great. really? Bros and Badgers? You're not even playing advanced Bros and Badgers? I I play I personally play Fortresses and Fae, which is a spinoff of Bros and Badgers uh, ah. 3.5 edition. Like, oh way God! Gentle. See, see, I'm more of a uh, I'm more of a uh, beer and pretzels kind of. Uh, Rainer's nose Burrows starts bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I like the simple. I like I like the simple mechanics of the first one, so that you can expand on that with your own, you know, your own flavor, your own adventure, and stuff like that. <laughs> Bishop shoots himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop takes out his gun and puts it to his temple, but he doesn't do know it. why. Is this he what we sound like to other people? Is this no. what we sound like? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Oh, God. I'm never bringing up D&D at work again. <laughs> <laughs> So, it, was like when you, it was like when you hear yourself, like a recording of yourself, like, oh, God, that's what I sound like? Oh, fuck. No. Yeah, when, it, when, it's, when you're on the other end, it's horrible. Holy shit. <laughs> My dream is to have a, se a session, like a Burroughs and Badgers session inside of a D&D &D session. I've done that player before. Runs, a, I would, I would love to play as an orc who's playing and, a game with, uh, and you play hey, like an office worker, right? Hey, <laughs> like doing copy machines and anyways. Hey Justin, there's an episode of Critical Role where a one shot of Critical Role where that happens. The barbarian of the group runs a Dungeons and Dragons game for the rest of the. Yeah, it's hilariously ah, stupid. Shit. It's very it's meta and the yeah. stupidest. And the well, I'm a little behind on that. Man. <laughs> it's the weirdest know, goddamn thing. If it, if it makes you feel better, like... there's no original ideas. Yeah, no. they're all gone. No. Yeah, I mean, my Buffett cleric wasn't like that. Was already Adventure Zone like. I can't do anything new. Whatever. <laughs> None of us can. Uh, boat. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> because you all were fishing and playing card games and not just staring into the water waiting, guards didn't really mess with you. They just assumed you were killing time between shipments or something. Nice. Uh, as the, the sun sets, you do start to see a boat coming in off the... Um, 30 minutes after the... Uh, last um, guard had passed by. And everybody was giant. <clears throat> so... No. I think it still need to be smaller. Drag you into the water. What's easier to see? Okay, babe. There, there we go. go. Now you fit in a square. All right, cool. Uh, so, um, um, you're giant, too. You know, it'd be great if they could let me let you walk change the size of these things the fortresses and phase has way more nuanced siege mechanics than uh burrows and badgers oh god rain <laughs> i i hate this so much there we go <laughs> listen listen man i've only played a couple times you know and i found the i found the game you know and i've just been trying to get some some friends into it that's all i didn't really i haven't even read the whole rule book Oh, God, see, this is so bad because Whiskers, sorry, Whisker, Whisker, sorry, Whiskers, he, your voice that you're using for Whiskers sounds like the nerd, like the prototypical nerd voice that I use when I'm making fun of myself at work. It's like, <laughs> awesome. It's like, oh, yeah. So, so yeah, I'm going to go back to today and uh, play some DMD. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, I have my. My fifth label, uh, Artificer, and it's going to be a... Uh, I really just want to uh, scare change some time to finish up my, uh, my comic book run because I'm, uh, I'm uh, behind on my, my uh, amazing Spider-Man from last week, and I really want to... Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh. Want to know awesome. something else Jen is proficient in? Uh, do we have to play it? <laughs> no. Just letting you know, she's also proficient in thieves' tools. Another rogue, not, really? 
<laughs> it was from her rebellious streak when she was younger, but yeah. She actually has a racial ability that makes it even stronger despite her negative one in dex. She's, she's, not, a, she's not a rogue, she's a sorcerer. <laughs> she's a what? Sorcerer. No! That's, not, that's what Jin is, right? Sorcerer. She's a cleric wizard. Divine uh, core sorcerer. That's that, yeah, that's what you're using as like flavor, but she's like a for the class oh, that she geez. thinks she that's she puts herself off as like a cleric and a wizard study like with stuff, but she's a sorcerer, right? Yeah, no, clearly. clearly. Minus one. Ah, I, she's a sorcerer. Come on. I do have a <laughs> friend who's playing a um, warlock. If he's a, he's just confused on why firebolt keeps coming out of another. Okay, so the boat comes in. Um, it maneuvers around and moors it, uh, gets more to the side. And giant guy. Doesn't need to be so giant. Hops onto the dock, followed by his trusty companion. Well, I'll like push Apgar and say. Well, he said that you were the one that needed to talk. That needed to talk. Go ahead. Alright. I walk up. Oh, 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 wait. Uh, Apgar. The oh, AC should be buffed that's not what because I Major Armor lasts for eight hours. Oh, no. It's the rule. God. Stupid. Uh, as Apgar walks by, uh, Rainer goes, Oh, oh, Apgar, that's not what I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me can i pet your dog <laughs> oh my god who are you R. oh uh we're the dock workers i work on this here fine dock see well what are you doing here you should get lost oh i just wanted to pet your dog but i'll leave uh, Rainer steps forward. Ahoy there. Uh, you brought in your newest shipment? We were expecting you a little bit earlier. Yeah, Ellie. So you're dock workers. He does quotes. I'll play later, Ellie. I do quotes back. And I wait. Yeah, uh, Oh. This is who you're talking to. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, we were expecting your shipment earlier. What was the holdup? We're right on time. Uh, not according to my You watch. are early. Oh, well, are the uh, items in possession? The two specific ones that we're aware of? I don't don't make me spell this out. You know what we're smuggling. Come on. Roll a deception check. Okay, that's gonna be a fifteen. Okay. Uh, he looks you up and um. turns to kind of walk back towards the boat and says, yeah, uh, the goods are in the hold. Uh, we haven't brought them up yet. Uh, we were going to get them on the dock, and then you were supposed to arrive to load them into the cart. Where's the cart? Well, that's the thing. We don't have the carts, but I've got my crew. And luckily, we're going to be taking one of these boats, and I point to this uh, little uh, kind of rowboat. I say... The uh, the next sh shipment is waiting at another dock. I gotta take the uh, items over there. So this crew is gonna come on board and help you extract, uh, help uh, load the items onto the smaller skivvy. Uh. 
let me go back on the board on the ship real quick and uh two of you can follow me and we can start kind of pointing out things okay i uh signal uh apgar and um uh bishop over Yeah, uh, you two, go on ahead and start getting the uh, shipment ready. I'll go, side I go, eye, I go, I'll <laughs> side eye Raynor, is... Raynor as I'm walking past him. I go, play along, this is working out great. <laughs> Roll my eyes and I keep going. Can I pet the dog now? Once everything is unloaded, yes, you I'll head over get on the boat All if, right, Ap so. if Apgar is joining us. Yes. Jin. Jin will uh, go up next to Rainer and uh, oh. Oh, no. ask, uh, hey, can you uh, give me a better idea of what's going on exactly? Well, Jen, I was wondering how well you are at operating those cranes over there. You think you could work one of those? I don't know. DM, just glancing at the cranes, would I know what I'm what I would be doing if I were operating them? Um Roll a straight intelligence check. Alright. Uh, 20, not that. Yeah, uh, they're very simple, uh, pulley system that lowers the rope, winch it back up, and hold it in place with the, um, the moorings on the dock. Yeah, my, my character will then turn around and say to Rainer, I think I have the gist of it. Can I ask why you need me to operate the cranes? Well, <clears throat> We're gonna have a little workplace accident. Don't, uh, just be ready. Once we take our items off the ship, um, have one of those cranes accidentally operate a little too close and put a hole in the hull. We're gonna sink this ship. What about the people on it? What about them? Okay, look. <laughs> if they are, if they are criminals and I am inclined to believe you at this point. All of this does reek of shadiness. I'd rather them face proper justice than kill them outright. Well, the good thing is, sailors tend to know how to swim, right? I suppose... Just we're at port. We're keep at that port. Yeah. All it's right. Not open. We're not, it's not open water. Yeah, I mean, Jin's being overly cautious, but I get in, you oh, know. But do not do that before we've taken the items off the ship. Very well. I guess I'll hang out here till the time is needed then. Okay. And I'll stay close to the docks. And then I head over to Whisker and say, Whisker, you like fireworks, yes, right? You like fireworks. He just smiles. He just he doesn't answer. He just smiles really big. Right. <clears throat> we may have to cause a little yeah. bit of distraction. Um, fireworks <laughs> or something of the like might work just distraction? right. Distraction? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, did you just come to me looking for a visual distraction? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be the... You are the man. Little man. Little person. I love you. And I hey, give him a hug. And I appreciate it. All right. Um... And the, uh, I hope Bishop got my message, because he's going on board. And Apgar. Apgar, I think, is going to do the right thing, but I hope Bishop can do the right thing in the right way. <laughs> I'll send a telepathic message to Moondust to give Apgar the help action every bonus action on my turn, should it come to that. And then I'm, uh, Rainer stands at the uh, on the dock waiting. So uh, I guess Epgar and Bishop, good luck, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. 
So um, it takes a good uh, 30 minutes of work uh, to move the crates onto the deck and to get the um, shipment in line to be pulled onto the dock. Um, if you are helping to move the shipment, you will need to roll strength checks with advantage uh, for one of you, or both of you roll separately. I'll assist Apgar in these strength checks, so she'll be doing, and she'll have so she'll have it. Alrighty. Wow, my strength is low. Wait, aren't you a barbarian? What's up? <laughs> I just ass- I just assumed you were. She's you a were strong. Uh, I have a plus one to. Sh- what do you have? Plus one. Okay. All right, yeah. You're... Oh, 16 is... You know, I have a plus two strength modifier. I'm stronger than the Barbarian. That's a lot of rolls. That's, that's, I think you can stop now. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I was like, where is it rolling? Oh. <laughs> um, whichever one you want to take. The 16 was fine for the first one. Okay. All right, so um, here, let's do this. I'm trying to get things lined up real quick. Okay. So many things. Oh, we need that rhythm right now. Yeah, this would be uh, the elevator music. Okay. Some chill beats right now. Your question earlier, Moon does Lovely, the girl from Ipanema. And then the nether. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work out. Let's do that again. Yeah, I did not plan on you all doing this. <laughs> this way. <laughs> that sh- that should be the DM's catch. That should be like in the t- or like the DM slogan. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you guys would do it this way. <laughs> you raise your right hand, put your left hand on the dungeon master guide, and you say that. Yeah. That's why no prep is better than prep. Sometimes. Sometimes. We just don't have a, right. don't have a plan. Well, I had a plan, and it was more or less this, but I didn't expect this aspect of it. So now, there we go. Okay. All right. I had to put all of you on here and then move things around. Fit. Um. All right, so the captain's going to jump off the ship and says, uh... You know he's not. He's going to stay on the ship. Okay. And he's going to say thank you for your kind work. And uh, I uh, wave to him and uh, look at Jin and do a little head nod. Jin will. Um, Rainer, what's your. No, your AC is that. Um, yeah. You get a bolt into your shoulder. Who does? 
Rainer does. From who? I've got 15 AC. You got 15? Yes. Yeah, that's going to hit then. Okay. Yeah, I was if it was a 20 or higher, but you're not Jin. You are Rainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you take uh, seven points of piercing damage. Uh, where did this come from? Behind you. Oh. Fuck. I, I, Whisker, Whisker sees it happen. He just holds his hands up like, well, I didn't do it. Um, two people pull up with a cart and you hear <laughs> this guy yell, oh, you're right on time. Uh, you want to help clear the rabble out? They were very helpful with unloading the boat. And I look over at uh, Whisker. Yep. <laughs> and I, I whistle real loud. And you roll initiative. All right. Sadly, your uh, deception wasn't high enough, so they actually got the drop on you as opposed to you getting. All right. Great initiative. Seven. Seven. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, Bishop. Bishop is inaudible. 21. 21. Now I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, Jen. Four. Four. Abgar. Four. Four. Auto row of the baddies. Start. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, first up is Mr. Salty Dog. What is your speed, Salty Dog? 40 feet. So he will run. I feel like I did not do this board right yeah that's not right at all yeah count you gotta uh, make a you gotta make a uh grid over it jumps on top of here and that's as far as he's going to get all right uh bishop Can't hear Bishop. Sorry, hello. Hello. Yep. Hey. Uh, Bishop is going to use an action to click something on his arm, his middle arm, and activate his um, cannon. And that. I cannot drag him out from, from, the, uh, from the players list. I don't think I have like control over that. You can't like, drag I... him out from the players list. Um, yeah, no, I can't. I I had to double tap for some reason. Maybe you have to too. Yeah, you no. can edit, so you should be able to drag him out. I I can do that with Bishop. I can't do it with uh. Oh. Eldridge Cannon. Eldridge Cannon. Edit. Oh, that's why. There we go. Save chain. There we go. Now you can. Yep. Hey, there he is. Okay, Ellie. Yeah. I'll say chaos activate, and I'll uh I'll put him on top of the. I think the wolf is on top of the box too, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, cool. And I'll use force. I'll make him be force ballista. A force ballista. Okay. Uh, range spell attack. Uh. Uh, 13 to hit? To hit the wolf? Yeah. Uh, that is the AC, so yeah. Oh, yay. Uh. Uh, 2d8. Oh, God. All not the right. Th sorry, sorry. First time doing this. Uh, just four damage to him. Uh, four force damage as a beam of energy shoots out of chaos. Uh, the energy hits the side of the not happy. He almost falls off the crate. But survives. He then stays oh. on it. Oh, if it is hit, it is pushed up to five feet oh. away from the cannon. So it's forced to go five feet away. Yeah. So right. and away from and away from the Lissa, maybe that would be towards the water? Uh odd or even. Even. Okay. He gets pushed back five feet and lands on the dock. Shit. Okay. But yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh Pirate A is this one. Okay, he is going to <clears throat> swing his scimitar at Rainer. It's a 21 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. For five points of slashing damage. Hmm. Okay. Pirate number two is going to really hate being on the dock behind a cage and is going to basically hold him. Three. Okay. Uh. I'm going to guess a five does not hit Bishop. Nope. Uh, Whiskers turn. Justin disappeared, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> give it, give it a second. Yeah. I've been trying to make drinking games out of uh, drinking game rules for us and one of them is uh justin's camera drops off <laughs> we all take a shot what if you hear ellie in the background that's one of them <laughs> yeah another one is i eat something or uh alex says rules is written and i had another <laughs> I had one for Bryant, was it? Don't give me reasons to say rules is intended instead. <laughs> oh, that counts. That counts. <laughs> uh, I said, I had one for Bryant. I can't remember. I did not. I don't have one for Anita. Ah, no. bummer. There are some other ones, but... I think one for just uh, another one for Justin or for all of us is a second person is seen on your screen. If you all see a second person on my screen, let me know because that's going to scare me. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it a few times. I, I thought I thought you knew about the other. I, I, I thought you knew about the pale woman. <laughs> all right. Um, this is the this is the longest he's been up. Yeah. 
Uh, you want to just come back to him? Yeah, I'm going to. I, I didn't see a message from him. Something happened with his phone. Uh, let's see. Next is this. Let's he's see. Not on, he's not on Roll20 either. Oh, his whole thing must have dropped off. All right. Um, Apgar notices the cage next to her. Um, shakes a little bit. This one right here. Ooh, more friends. Uh, let's see. Next. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, 13 to hit Bishop. Does not hit. Okay. Jin, when it's your turn, I, I got an idea that I'd like to help you with, potentially. I mean, I don't know how the DM wants to rule it, but generally talking is a free action on your turn. You can tell me then, in universe. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd like to assist. I wish I could assist, that's all. But I'll, I'll see. You are before her, so. Uh, 14 uh, does not hit Jin. Ooh. Not even close. Does a 19 hit Jin? <laughs> if I want it to. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and burn a spell slot. Cast shield. And jump my AC up to 23. And that triggers my Arcane Ward. I'm going to flavor it as the Doctor Strange shield. Like mm. I, I imbue my shield with those Arcane Runes, and I gain 6 temp HP. Um, that's part of the Arcane Ward and is separate from normal temp HP. Cool. Force field 1 active. Well, for, 2 force fields because of shield. That's a really All right. turn. <laughs> so uh, the captain is going to... kind of do a whistle. It's kind of hard to whistle on cue. There we go. You got to uh, have that feet. And he's going to jump onto the dock. And Rainer's turn. All right. So I yell over at Jin. Hey, so here's my question. Here's what I would like to do. Does the crane, if it swings, can its load hit the hull of the ship? And I'm going to assist it with a telekinetic shove to make it even more powerful and put a hole in the ship. Yes. Uh, the crane can swing if you... Uh maneuver the uh, arm of it properly use a telekinetic shove um, as far as damaging it you would have to do something else because there's nothing really on that crane right now oh other than a piece of wood for this one down here by Jen. right that's just not heavy enough yeah. of a load to deal any I mean, damage you can, you can try with it I mean it is technically a um, heavy wood it's used it's, to hold up Sail ship, right? Perhaps you, instead of using the telekinetic shove to push it harder, we could push it smarter and have it wrap around the mast or something. And pull from that? I don't know if that would actually work. I'm I don't know if it would reach or not, yeah. Not from down here, because the mast is up here. Okay, well, this whole plan fell apart. Is there something... <laughs> Is I mean, you anything? can try. These boards should be strong enough, but you're also dealing with a boat who's designed to travel in waters. What about these? Are these pallets? Those are crates that you took off the boat. I thought these... Uh, they're, they're the larger crates, and then things load, unloaded off the boat. I think these smaller ones would be enough to... would be enough and... thing to carry to damage it? Like if the crane picked one of those crates up and did the smash maneuver on the hull, that would you think that would be heavy enough to damage it? Then the crane by itself. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can definitely try. Mm. 
Well, it's up to Jen. Uh, that's, that, that's up to Jen and Rainer. Yeah. Uh, well, f- regardless, I'm going to definitely do second wind for my bonus, <laughs> um, and get one d ten plus three. Back. So are you holding your action for a telekinetic shove then of some sort? Oh, fuck, a six. Um, well, I, I was thinking about it, but now I think I might as well just go ahead and uh, attack this guy in front of me. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw a net on him. Okay. That's a 16, that's a 21 to hit. Uh, yeah, that, that hits him. Okay, he is ensnared. Okay. He's restrained. restrained. And nope, that's my that's turn. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys, this fell apart. I was thinking that there would be the crane, a distraction with fireworks... They get off the thing, the people are still on the boat, then the crane hits during the firework distraction and begins sinking the boat, and we make off with the goods. But, you know. When, when have plans ever worked out in D&D? It's, right. I've we, made them we, work before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, humble brag. <laughs> You're trying to make him feel better about his plan, Alex. Sorry. It was a good plan. There yeah. was just one flaw and exception check. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was my turn. Uh, Apgar is up. Alrighty. How tall are the large crates? They are roughly four feet tall. Alright. How far do you jump if you do a standing jump? I want to jump onto the crate. You, I think, get better standing jump than others. Yeah, I can add a 1d8 to it. Yeah. What uh, is the standing jump rule? Well, I got four feet, so I'm just going to say I clear it. Oh, yeah, you definitely clear it then. It's like half of your... Alrighty, and I'm going to... With my... Spear? Yes, I have a spear. I'm going to jump... And oh wait, bonus action rage. Then I'm gonna jump and spear this wolf. Okay. Um roll to attack the poor wolf. Oh no, that doesn't hit twelve. Uh nope, does not hit. <sighs> Pet it on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the spear glances off to the side and kind of goes more towards the docks, and your hand kind of does pet the dog, so he's very confused now. Goddamn. Oh, there's Joseph. Uh, rewind to Whiskers' turn now. My phone died. I didn't even have uh, dying. It's dropped out. I don't even have, like, a chart. It's I'm stupid. I had to go down to my desk. Anyway. Um, so... I, I, okay. But rather than wait till I try to load up the roll twenty and stuff, um, what about those those people? The people showed up who we were impersonating, right? Mm-hmm. They sh- immediately shot Rainer in with an arrow, with a bolt. Yeah. We're in. Are we're they? In full on, we're in full on combat with them. All right. Well, there's no putting them to sleep. That's not going to help anything. Um. Well, I don't even have like like combat stuff on it. Uh, oh wait, yes I do. Okay, is somebody near me? Uh, I'm, tr- I'm loading a thousand things at once. Within like fifteen feet of you. Yeah, there are two um, bandits near you and Jin's near. You. They're all within fifteen feet. They're the ones that shot uh, Rainer. Yep. Okay, one of the bandits. I guess I will. Uh, if you have any I'm kind gonna, of like, uh, reach my. Oh, sorry. If you have any kind yeah. of like fan fanning out thing, they're they're standing right next to each other. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're really not gonna like the spells I have prepared, and <laughs> um, but I am gonna reach into my bag. He uh, he's like, oh shit, 
And he's like, Sam, it's really, it's, uh, it's getting pretty angry on here. Right? And he reaches <laughs> in his bag and he pulls out a book and he, and he blows off the, the, the cover and he's like, I knew this is coming handy someday. And he, uh, he just like tosses it up in the air and he, uh, while it's in the air, he puts a, uh, some spice in his uh, pipe. He's been carrying a pipe and smoking pipe this whole time. He puts some spice in his pipe, and he puffs it a little bit, and then the book uh, starts to glow, and it starts to spin super fast, and then, then it shoots at one of the bandits. And they need, need to make a dex save. What was that? Catapult. Uh, yeah, that that's a miss. Oh, that's a fail. That's a six, so... All right. That is an then, underrated spell, man. Well, the natural one plus an, five. All you need is an object. He takes 15 bludgeoning damage as I f- throw the book at him. Yeah, it's like 3d8, right? It's, it's kind of yeah. wild. Mm-hmm. Is it 15 points? Yep. All right. Uh... One of the bandits that was just hit by a book. <laughs> because it's such a strong hit for his health. Yeah, he, he's going to fall over, confused, and in pain, and barely holding on. Wow. Geez, man, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to do all that. I just, you know, it's, it's sick and crazy in here. I have... Not yet. Uh, Not yet, Ellie. <laughs> Jen's turn. All right. I say, um, uh, Whisker, you operate. You op- Why can't I? Hold on. There we go. Whisker, uh, change of plans. Can you operate the crane for me? I'll, uh, I'll try to protect you. Get behind me. I say as I go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Hmm. Let's see, I have several options here. I'm going to spend a second level spell slot to upcast Armor of Agathis. Um, I, I'm going to flavor it as like an anime style Power Rangers transformation <laughs> where all this misty ice swirls around me and enhances each part of my armor, turning it into what looks almost like Dwarven Battle Rager armor, but made of ice and floating ice spikes. So you have a magical girl moment, but with badassery added to it. And the guy and the villains wait uh, the full five minutes for the transformation. And just like Power Rangers, they just okay. watch. Just, oh, does like on top of that, does like sp- like sparkly nails appear and like lipstick and <laughs> and like no lipstick, hairstyle but... changes and well I have this rolling ice mist of daggers around me that looks like a battle rager armor Sailor Mercury got it <laughs> um, also that reinforces my arcane ward if it took damage it heals up the damage and I have uh... ten HP six ward HP and then my standard HP pool. And I'm like, and I tell, and I will tell the bandits in my weak Dorvish that Bishop taught me, your mother, and in my turn. <laughs> okay. Bishop, Bishop sheds a tear. <laughs> uh, now, Jen, Jen, I, I can't, I can't help, I can't, I couldn't help overhear that. I think, I think what you mean to say is, King gone to Madre. <laughs> Sorry, my Dorvish is still kind of rusty, I'd say. Hey, no problem. I'm working on it too, man. We can swap notes there as well. Oh, a bishop's been teaching me. Perhaps we could make a study group out of it. Oh, I love a study group. That's one of my favorite things. Hey, look, pay attention to those guys, though. Oh, don't worry. They can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> They can certainly try, I say, as I turn around and stare daggers at them. Okay. Um, so the second wolf uh, jumps off the boat, runs over, and uh, gets behind the ship. Hmm. 
does a mm, he's not in, yeah he's got an advantage okay perfect does a 22 hit <laughs> Hold on, hold on. What'd you say? 21? 22. Even if I cast shield. Yeah, that hits. Alright, you take 8 points of piercing damage. And you must make a strength save. Strength save. This physically... Okay, so uh, eighteen. Cool. Uh, you see the the uh, dark matted fur wolf jump from the ship onto the docks. It sinks its teeth into your leg and tries to pull your feet up from under you, but you manage. Uh, wolf number one is going to attempt to bite Apgar. Fails horribly because it doesn't have an ally within. Because a two plus stuff is not going to hit. I missed that. Uh, a two plus stuff is probably not going to hit Apgar. No, unless he gets like plus 18. <laughs> or plus 16. Okay. Bishop, your turn. Okay. DM. Yes. Buddy. Do I know, since I know the spell Grease, is... Do I know if Grease is flammable? The Grease I make from the spell Grease. I'm trying to see if I use Grease on a section of the boat and I set it on fire i wish Would... that's how it worked but that's the dm's ruling that makes grease is flammable except the grease um from the material component is butter so no it's grease made from butter pork rind you're I mean, an artificer which... wouldn't you have some a kind bit... of like wd-40 uh... on you or something yeah <laughs> yeah, a bit of pork rind or butter. Yeah, my spells aren't... I, yeah, I don't use organic shit. My grease is greasy. But yeah, um, a, yeah, yeah. A, a, a pork rind or butter, a grease made of pork rind would could be like a grease fire. Could count as That's fire. basically a grease fire. Yeah, it was like the grease you get from bacon, which is also... Yeah, no, I, like, okay. in previous editions it was flammable, just rules is written. It's the DM's discretion. Sorry. Uh, take a shot. <laughs> Can't wait for it. <laughs> what I will do, because it does seem kind of like a cool idea for Grease to be flammable, is I'll say, roll a D100 for me. A D100? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're okay. going to have fun and treat it like divine <laughs> intervention. All right, all right. Ten percent chance that you create grease that is flammable. All right, okay. Uh, got it. Thirty-seven. No, this is not flammable grease. If you not flammable. It. Okay. Uh, never mind then. Bishop. Uh, will, well, first chaos his cannon will aim at the, uh, wolf. Attack. Oh. Uh, nine to hit. That probably misses. Nine misses. Okay. Well, he's going to stick with his original plan and bonus action cast Expeditious Retreat on himself and shoot up into the air. He's, okay. Uh,. It, the wolf probably gets an opportunity attack. The wolf misses. The other guy is in a net, so he can't really do much. Okay. Well, he's still in the same place, but I'll just say he's up in the air about uh, 30. And okay. he will shoot with his pistol which is like 
surgically now, like inside his thing, like the barrel of it comes out of his face now. You did a bonus action for Expeditious Retreat. Oh, okay. Wait. And then you yeah. did your cannon guy. Right. How do you end up in the water? Never mind. He doesn't use Expeditious Retreat, but he okay. does fly up. So he's okay. you're flying. He's okay. flying. Yeah, he's flying. He's in the exact same space. He's just thirty feet up. But no Expeditious Retreat. Uh, he will still shoot. Them. Okay. Um, so this guy. Oh, still very bad. Nine. Nine Fuck. does not hit. Yeah. First time he's firing the gun, it it uh misses. He's trying to get the sight right using his finger instead of an actual sight. What are the misfires on that gun? Fuck. Let me look that up. Go, keep going. I'm going to look okay. that up. I think it's uh for a hand cannon it might be I think the highest it could I think it's a at the palm pistol I think it's only like two misfires and they're low numbers, very low numbers. Uh let's see. Uh Sailor in net is going to try to No, it's not that sailor. Hold on. It's up this sailor up here. He is within the range of Agar. It's going to so, um, Apgar, you are focused on dealing with this wolf. So, unless there is something you can do as a reaction to stop it, or somebody else can, a natural 20. As this uh, sailor swings his scimitar down on you, dealing 12 points of slashing damage. Crits don't suck. Um, okay. You got, you got something that can negate that? Yeah, I'm raging, so... It's half damage, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. That's oh, fine. Uh, that oh, misfires. No. It, misfire score on a palm pistol is like. It's like what? Is one. So oh, I'm okay. good so far. Oh. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That soldier misses firing at. Uh... Not soldier. My sailor misses firing at Apgar. The next sailor throws a natural one and drops his uh, crossbow, a light crossbow, onto the deck trying to reload it. Uh, Whisker. Nice. Um. So, do I need to use this crane? Are we still doing that? No, I think that has passed. <laughs> okay. It would have been a good way to start the fight, I think, if it worked, but... Honestly, like... 30 minutes, maybe. If the situation was slightly different and I was top of the initiative order, I would have requested, uh... Like, if we had a chance to discuss it, I would love to, like, force push the crane onto their wagon as the added weight and just toss the wagon around. Damn. No. But Jen would have uh, put herself between the bad guys and Whisker. So. Are you there, Justin? Yeah, I'm here. You're like, sorry, I thought you were like, still having issues. No, oh, my I, my phone is on eight percent, so I'm headed up. But um, Whisker uh, doesn't have hardly any offensive spells, and I think that uh, Jen has those two sailors over there. Me? And Jen was yeah. like, Jen on her turn was like, get behind me as uh, she put herself between the sailors and you. Yeah, they they look a little rough and tumble for him, so he is going to give a little scoot over here. And uh, maybe just survey the scene and um, just... Uh, could probably use some help no. if you have any. 
no useful hand cantrips? No, this is a whisker. Um, no, he is going. To, he's he's going to chill. Okay. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, where's Abgar? Um, yeah, no, he could he could probably launch another book. Yeah, it, it it looks it looks hairy over there on the on the deck. So he'll pull out another book. This one, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I I don't know why I brought you along, and I, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He tosses it in the air, does the same shit. It lights up and shoots at the guy. Uh, he makes a deck save. Okay, uh, do you want to target the wolf, the captain? Uh, whoever was just hitting Apgar. Okay. The wolf. The sailor oh, was the one that, that succeeded was... on hitting. Yeah, yeah, hit that sailor with it. Yeah, he, he fails. All right. Fourteen damage. Okay, so you launch this book, and it flies over the boat across the dock and runs right into this one sailor, hits him off the dock, and he's Hell not, yeah. he's kind of face down in the water now. Congratulations, <laughs> you killed the sailor. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I like to think that you throw it and it has a curve to it and it goes way high in the air and then it like curves down at an angle. Yeah, that one, that, that one had a little extra mustard on it. I'd probably die for that one. <laughs> I just find it, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, he's good. Who's up next? Oh wait! Before before the end of my turn, whistle, uh, Whisker is going to uh, he's going to whistle uh, a very specific whistle that sounds like a call, and then uh, he's just going to wait and see what happens. Okay. Um, I don't know who all. Okay, it just looks like Apgar. Uh, Whisker, do you speak Sylvan? I do not. Okay, cool. Uh, Apgar is the only one who for in Sylvan. Um, if you're in row twenty, you can see what it says. If not, I it says. Oh, okay. I'll whisper back and oh, well, can I peek into the thing and see what it is? Uh, yeah. Uh, on your turn, you can. But yeah. Okay. Uh, he's failed his attack. He failed his attack. Um, he's going to stand up and fail his attack because Jin's attack is insane. Or AC is insane. No, not you're not dead yet. Right now. Still, I got a 12 plus a 3, so. Oh, don't worry. Hitting me would have been 10 cold damage on them automatically because Armor of Vagathist. Yeah. Uh... They're lucky. They're not hitting me. Bandit captain is going to, or pirate captain is going to come over here. Uh, let's see. Eighteen your AC, Epper. That meets, I believe, with okay. the. You take two points of slashing damage, uh, halved to one. Ooh. And uh, the captain kicks the um, cage uh, in front of you and says, quiet. Uh, Rainer. Okay. Uh, this guy in front of me, he's restrained, right? Yep. Um, I'm going to use telekinetic shove to push him uh, sideways <laughs> off the deck I into the water <laughs> for my bonus. Okay. He goes five feet into the water. Okay, there is a there is a strength check on that, so he can... But he'd probably be a disadvantage. It's up to you. It's a 13. 
Yeah, he got a 20 and a 1. So I rode the most critical of both. He is in the water. These were fishing nets. He's going to drown in there. He is sinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Great. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Everything else after this is just gravy. Yeah, this is uh, that's all I need. Okay, so I'm down one net. I've got another net, though, and that, that cute puppy there is looking like he needs to be netted. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a 22 to hit. That hits. All right, and he's netted now, too. I got nets for days. <laughs> Um, oh man, if only Raider were an artificer, create like a net launcher gun. Great. Okay. Damn. Uh, Damn, it. Damn it, I'm going to have to make All right, I'm going to peek inside the cage if I can. Uh, yeah, you kind of pull on the curtain and it kind of comes off easily. <laughs> you accidentally knock it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the screams of children. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it! Okay, that's apparently I did not, in my attempt to rebuild, save this properly. So I have to redo it. And you can move him to back. Move, uh, move token to back. Yep, there you go. I moved the cage to front because if it went to back, he would probably. At least that's how it kept happening when I did it earlier. Okay. All right. So inside the cage, you see an owl person. Oh wow! I okay. I'll say to the owl and Sylvan. Help you out as soon as we kill the bad guy. And then to myself, new friend. What did and you say? New friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to stab this wolf with my rapier. That's another 12. 12 just misses. Uh, is it it? Yeah. All right. Uh, Jin, you're up. Do I see the caged owl up there? Um, from your position, no, but you probably did hear Apgar say new best friend or new friend. Okay, well, if I don't have confirmation, like, it's Apgar. She says that about everybody she comes across. So, <laughs> all right. She could um, be saying she could be saying that about the captain. All right. Um, feel free to take attacks of opportunity against me, as I'm going to move out of range to where Whisker is. Uh, yeah, they do attack. Stop it. One, one of them hits you. Oh, which one? Uh, the one who does not look very happy right now. He rolled a 19 to hit, or 20 to, a 19 to hit, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to deflect that. I'll allow that to hit me. How much damage is it? <laughs> it's five points of slashing damage, and then as he hits... He gets the ice, and cold. Yeah, the ice uh, armor around you seeps into his body, and he actually freezes solid. I actually like to flavor like as soon as it gets hit, oh. it like mystifies and acts kind of like Gara's sand and like smacks him. <laughs> I'll allow that to hit. Uh, yeah, I'll allow such that. A <laughs> such a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow that to hit. <laughs> Well, maybe he had uh, other tricks up his sleeve. I know he does. 
I know he does. It's probably He's shield like, or something. But that shit is just the best. I'm gonna let you hit best. me to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, so what's Jin up to now? Um, one HP on the arcane ward. I haven't even gotten to armor of Agathist yet. So, um, once I get to the position I'm at, um, right next to Whisker, I'm gonna be like. All right, clearly you're not used to combat. Let, let me help you out here. And I'm going to bonus action cast Shield of Faith, which is a level one, so that restores uh, two HP to my Arcane Ward. Oh, let's see, let me take off a of spell use. And while I'm holding concentration, um, Whisker, you have plus two AC as a glowing bubble shield with the Moonweaver symbol appears around you. Oh man, I, 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 I sort of appreciate it, but uh, un, 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 unexperienced in combat, uh, you know, I wouldn't go, go so far as to say that. I appreciate what you're doing here, but uh, it's kind of, it, it's kind of crap on my side a little bit, you know. But uh, never mind, never mind. I appreciate it. All right. As for my action, let's see. D20. Or I'm gonna ray of frost um, for twenty. Um, this dude right here. Twenty to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right. Let's see. I'm still at a D8. All right. Two ice damage and minus ten movement. And that'll be my turn. Okay, um, this wolf is wrapped up in a net. Strength check to try to get out. That's a to two plus zero. At no, uh, plus one. So, yeah, that, that wolf is still inside that net. He does not look happy. It's a DC but he's 10 strength check. Yeah, three does not meet that at all. Uh, wolf at the top of the boat uh, attempts to bite at Apgar and misses. Bishop. Okay. It's fine down there. I see this wolf. Uh. My cannon is going to hop over here and it's just gonna like quick hop to the other box and right hit is it within five feet of this thing before it, before it hops it'll shoot oh, so yeah, he we'll should... have... huh he should technically be back a little Okay. Yeah, and I thought have... I moved him earlier, but apparently. I... Okay, he's gonna shoot at the uh, the. Nat twenty, good job. Chaos. All right. That's a lot of damage. I think he might be dead. Whoa! Twenty three damage. He's down, right? Yeah. Um, okay. The blast from uh, Chaos. Is that his name? Its name? Their name? Spelled K-A-0-S. Okay. The blast from Chaos is more powerful than you expected and the wolf expected, and he's launched into the water <laughs> with a hole where his side once was. Chaos control. Yeah. Uh, Bishop's gonna fly over here as that happens, and he will shoot at the captain. With his hand can't. Okay. Okay. Nineteen to hit. Uh, 
Six Nine. damage. Six damage, okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, cool. Uh, he's dead. He's drowning. Can he survive? Nope, he's not. Bye, sailor number. I've lost count. Sailor. Uh, that is a... Yeah, you're in range. 14 to hit, Bishop. That does not hit. That does not hit. Okay, a bolt just swings side past your face and keeps sailing back uh, behind you. Got it. Uh, Whiskers turn. Whiskers. Whisk. It's Whiskers. Whiskers turn. Yeah. Um, so uh, last turn, he, uh, he, he, he whistled out a call. And... I just wanted if anything happened after that. He will just wait patiently. And if nothing happens, then um, I uh, he's like, hey, you know, I, I'm running, running out of books here, and I, uh, not sure, uh, not sure how we're looking here. Are we trying to uh, kill? We, we are we here to kill everyone? I'm um, not sure I'm down with that. Uh, do you need some uh, guidance here? During my yeah. during my attack, you heard me. You heard me as I was shooting, yelling, "People, you're trafficking people!" As I'm shoot as I'm shooting the uh, captain. Oh, that oh, this is that changes things. By saying that out loud, it, like you shift in Jin's demeanor from self defense to just rage. There we go. But uh, yeah, he does. Yeah. Nah, Where would you yeah, like I, this I something to appear? Oh, uh, just uh, to to me at me. Okay. On the way there, anyway. Hey. I think they're tiny, aren't they? <gasps> yeah. Oh. Uh, hey there, Lay. Wait, what I thought you, you had a. Up to? I thought you had a badger. What? Yeah, this is just a hawk I know. <laughs> <laughs> not a, not a pet. This is, this is uh, this guy I know. He's cool people. Yeah. Hey there, lady. How you doing? I, I was wondering what you're up to here. Hey, uh, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd go over there and you give that sailor a peck over there. <laughs> now keep in mind, I'm a gnome, and gnome can talk to small and tiny beasts. So I can just straight up ask him to do that. Ask her to do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to tell her to give give this uh, guy over here a, a little peck. Okay. Be careful, though. Be careful. I don't have anything else to do in my turn, so you can decide how that works. Uh. uh. <laughs> okay. And four, five, six, seven, eight. That uh, hawk comes in and just lands right on top of his face and just tears into him. Hell yeah. Dealing. Uh, which one was the one that's still... It's this one. Okay. Eight damage. Dang. Shit. Okay. And then he goes to fly up a little bit higher, so he's out of range. And, yeah, the guy misses the opportunity of attack. Nice. He, he's not doing well. Great job, great job. That's that's what I keep you around for. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs> I 
remember Stanley exists. Yeah, oh, I forgot right. about Stanley. How did we forget about Stanley, the best boy? A new best boy, Count. I don't know. All right, the cage behind you, uh, the one that Chaos is on top of, you can heal whimpers, but you can't understand the language. Hmm. Uh, tr -tr -tr. Uh, it's going to miss Jen's AC for a bolt. <clears throat> and that is going to miss Apgar's AC for a bolt. The captain steps forward. The attack. Okay, a non natural 20 and then a 16. Who's he attacking? Uh, Apgar. Ap uh, anything above the. or 18 or above hits. Alright, you take 7 points of slashing damage as he swings one scimitar at you, but the other one barely misses you as he swipes underneath. Okay, is that already halved or. Half no, uh, half of it would be three. Okay. Uh, Rainer's turn. Okay. Uh, Rainer's going to uh, throw a dagger at the wolf. That's a nat 20. Whoo! And he's going to put a little stink on it and put a psionic strike behind it. So that's four damage plus... Seven damage plus seven damage. That's going to be 18 damage against this wolf. <laughs> All right. Uh, the blade sticks into him deeply, but the psionic blast behind it pushes the blade in further and out the other side as this wolf goes down. Rainer's Hell yeah. eyes. A little bit of white steam comes from Rainer's eyes. What? 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 Do what now? <laughs> I know that was the craziest thing you've said so far. <laughs> and, Anything else, from yeah, yeah. Bonus movement. I'm gonna come up on top, climb up these boxes, and get up on top of this thing. And I'm gonna attempt to uh, do a telekinetic shove on this guy to knock him in the water. Okay. Um, going, he needs to do a strength opposing check of 13. Going this way. He got a 12. All right. He falls into the water. He's not probably going to drown, but he's out of the fight for a little bit. Yeah. He also needs to be resized because he's too big. There we go. All right. Uh, up next is Epgar. Hey. I'm going to try and stab the captain. Okay. With my rapier, hopefully he'd be, rude. I... he'd be rude not to. Do it. Twenty-three. That hits. Hey. Eleven uh... damage. Uh, he did not like that. And then I asked Stanley to attack. Stanley attacks. Okay. Cancel. Uh, I gotta remember Pseudo Dragon. It's a. Uh... Pseudo Dragon. Uh, Sting is a four plus two. He got a natural 20. Dang. Oh my so God. it's a seven points of damage to the captain. This dragon is evil. <laughs> Good. The captain appears to dust off the sting 
But as he kind of takes his stance back, he wobbles and he is basically unresponsive right now. He's paralyzed? He's unconscious. God, hey. yes. Uh, Jin, you're up. Okay. Um, when Whisker was saying earlier, like, uh, looking to me for guidance, I, I was halfway through the sentence of, like, fight to defend yourself, but I think we're in the right here. And then, like, I heard about the people, and then, like, Jin goes quiet with, like, this r palpable rage. Hmm. Jin so rages. One moment, let me double check the range. Oh, she's a barbarian. Got it. <laughs> okay. DM, can I call shot spells? What does that mean? You know the called shot mechanic? It's not brought up very often because it's typically useless beyond flavor, but I'm feeling flavorful. What's the DM's ruling on called shots? Also, guys, uh... if we could... Sorry to kind of That's push this along, help. but if we could probably wrap up this fight tonight, that'd be awesome. Yeah. How the hell? Well, how are we gonna do that? Well, kill we got, everyone. Yeah, we got two sailors, uh, one bandit, one sailor, and one unconscious captain. We can we can probably wrap that up. Kill them. Kill well, them all. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can do that if you like, but it's just gonna be for flavor. Okay, um, targeting this guy over here, called shot, I am going to upcast Ice Knife at level 2, aiming for his groin region. Oh my god. That's 14 hit. 13 hits him? Yeah. 14. 14 okay. definitely hits him. Okay, um, let me go ahead and roll the initial damage. Um, the Ice Knife will slam in, into him doing two cold damage, but then he needs to make a deck save as it explodes concussively in that area. He rolled a two. All right. Uh, let me double check the damage dice. Uh, ice knife uses What area name. was that again? The groin region. Oh, dick. Okay. You shot him in so the dick. It like a grenade. You shot him yeah. in the dick. With a grenade? Yeah, you shot him in the dick. With ice grenade. You ice grenade him in the dick. Three additional ice damage. And, you know, everyone next to him, not that he's next to anyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will, uh, keep an eye on him. Let's see. One, two, three, four, hey, stop five. That. I'll move closer to get to some of these other people. But I, uh, as I move past Wh Whisker, I say, Whisker, with me. To and me, I'll Whisker. Wait. Is this dude dead? Oh. Nope. No, but he's probably in a lot of pain. Also, Just, bonus action, Moondust uh, gives advantage to uh, um, Apgar's next attack roll. Help action. That's my turn. Bonus action, help action? Uh, no, bonus action, ask my familiar to give the help action. Bonus Just action, action. Can the familiar give the help action? Uh, depends. Yeah. Um, the rules they can are do there. actions. They can do actions as normal, not attack. But they go. Yeah, they would go like after. After the person, and they could do that. That's what. I mean, okay. if you're not okay with that DM, that's fine. We'll we'll not worry about it, and it'll be the end of my turn either way. I mean, that would kind of overpower it to use your bonus action to do that. If you could burn an action to do that, maybe. And that's, that's fine. Okay. Just See, that or I start targeting animals, and I don't think... <laughs> I've, I've done that as DM before. Um, technically, familiars that are on shoulders are in full cover, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bishop. Uh, Bishop is going to shoot uh his cannon is going to shoot at this guy poor soul <laughs> yeah no actually that guy's over the water that guy it's this guy right this guy hasn't taken any damage right yeah no, he's the one he took a lot of damage to the groinal region oh i thought it was this guy <laughs> this guy hasn't taken 
This guy. He has took damage. He took damage from the uh, Falcon or the Hawk. He's he's gonna hop down. Shoot it. Shoot at that guy. Hey. Okay. Uh, eighteen plus stuff that hits. That that hits. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, ten damage to him, and he's pushed ten. Feet. He is pushed back and falls over dead into the water. Got it. Oh, 50. Wow. Oh, just five feet. Whatever. Uh, and yeah, he, Bishop he is stumbled going to... off the boat for the last. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Bishop is going to fly this way and shoot at the captain. It If he's unconscious, what does that mean? Does he, I think he's sleeping. Yeah. Is he prone? The rules are you get advantage if they're incapacitated, and it counts as critical if you hit. Okay. And it's critical if it's melee, but yeah. Uh, melee. All right. Well, that is. Is it only melee? Yeah, I mean the advantage. Twenty. The advantage over regardless, I believe. But unconscious. Yeah. Any attack that hits the creature. Any attack uh if the attacker's within okay. No, okay. Uh twenty to, twenty to hit, is it does it count as a crit? Um if it does, they will against you all in the future as well. Gotcha. Uh sure, I'm down with that. I don't care. Okay. Fuck future. Hey, a what? A twenty to hit? A <laughs> A dirty twenty is a crit now. For no. the unconscious guy, yeah. For if you just hit an unconscious person, it counts as a crit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's uh, eleven damage total. Eleven damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. As I shoot him, I like flying up. You hit him in the shoulder, and as it. Uh... He twists and wakes up from that shock. Screams in Hell pain. Hell yeah. Uh, and points the scimitar at you as you fly past and says you're next. <laughs> Adorable that you think you're getting out of this alive. Uh, dead, dead, dead. Whisker. Um... Yeah. I was just reading um I was reading familiar stuff and everything. I think you pretty much just like can't do that. It's like tell them to do that and then on their turn they do that and there's really nothing to stop. But <coughs> for Whisker uh oh that guy died. Shit. I guess he'll um I guess he'll uh he'll he'll call his uh he'll call his bird friend over and be like Come on, come over here, girl, and I'll uh, I'll give you a little treat. And uh, he says, I'm glad glad everything's working out here, uh, just fine. And uh, he gives her a little treat, and she like uh, you know snacks out of his hand, and he pets her on the head and stuff. And uh, that's his turn. All right. Uh... The cage uh, in front of Chaos and behind Apgar. Ready? Uh, and the owl is uh, looking a little bit hopeful seeing all this frightening action going around. Dead, dead. Levels a crossbow bolt at uh, Whisker. Uh, fails and decides that he has had enough of this and he Enough of this, and he what? He ran away. Okay. Should have stuck by him so I could have bonked him on the way out. Oh well. Uh, pirate captain. Okay, cool. That one actually hits. Who's he hitting? Apgar. You don't know when to quit. Apgar. Yeah. Apgar, you take. Eight. 
a lot of damage. Eight plus six. Fourteen points of damage, half to seven. I'll be right back. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm back. Did are we done? Did we win? Uh it's just the captain that's left. Oh joy. I've been waiting for him. Oh, what kind of fun things is <laughs> Crazy Rainer going to do this? Oh, Crazy Rainer, that's your new name. Uh, it's going to involve a fairy. <laughs> Crazy Rainer. It's going to involve putting Dude, holes into him and a ferret. Oh, God. Oh. That's, that's deeper than I wanted to go. Oh, like, actually, God. I didn't want to know that. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 more. You know, when you're told something, and you, your only response should be, "No, oh, it's my fault for asking that question." Whose turn is it? It's Rainer's turn. Hold okay. on, guys. Uh, skip me. Okay. Apgar's turn. Alrighty. I will stab this guy. 13 hit. 13 misses. Okay. And then I'll ask Stanley to kill him. Do you not have a second <laughs> attack? Not oh, yet, no, right? We have, Stanley. Right. Level 3. God, I'm so stupid. Sorry. Oh, oh no. yes, what a good, good boy. What a good <laughs> boy. Crits don't suck. The best boy. He deals some damage. The captain looks at the pseudo dragon's tail as it leaves his neck what the and fuck? yells, What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Goes unconscious on his feet again. Uh, Rainer, if it's back, or Jen, if not. I don't think Rob's back yet, so Jen. Jen oh will. Continue her uh, angry pace. One, two, three, four, uh, five? Question mark. I mean, that space is occupied, right? That's a cage. You can go to the left a little bit. Walk through the cages. We'll we'll say I go to the right a bit, and I'll say uh, Apgar duck as I pull out the spear I never use. And chuck it at the captain. Uh, okay. Flat roll, right? Hmm? Flat roll, right? Uh, strength roll, unless you have proficiency. I have proficiency, yes. I have proficiency in all martial weapons. 18 to hit. So why would it be a flat roll? <laughs> well, let's see, let me count the exact. You just say first. stuff, huh? <laughs> he's unconscious, so he's prone. I believe it's just 20 feet, which is in my normal range. But, uh, well, it said unconscious on their feet, so I don't know if that counts or not. Hence All right, guys, my... I gotta go. Sorry. Later. <laughs> you can't. Yeah.